shit. Oh no, I'm not live. Okay. Never mind. What I'm about to be. All right. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. The fuck? Okay. Getting chat ready. Laughing Cavalier. Is this going to be like Generation Hope? Uh, no. Well, technically, if Generation Hope actually made made movies, I think this this would probably be the closest to it. But I've I've already done a. I've done a stream on one of the real short movies already. I think it was, hang on. I think it was NOC number 54, to, Faded to My Forbidden Alpha. That's where, that's one of the real short films. Real short is an app. I think I have to explain this in order for everybody to get it in case some people haven't caught on. The real short is an app. And it's called Real Short because they, it's annoying too. They <laughs> post like really short movies, but they post it like a couple seconds, like a minute, like a minute at a time, They're like minute long videos. Uh, and there's, there's like, there would usually be like a hundred parts for like one movie. And it's annoying because they'll play like nonstop ads in between. Like it's so bad, no one, no one, well, there are some fanatics, some of which who have been in my comment section on NOC number 54 complaining that I'm actually giving my commentary on th these shitty films. Like there are actually people who genuinely watch this shit. But anyway. But yeah, their ads are so annoying, like I, I refuse. I refuse to pay for their service. So so I went searching, searching around and I Googled and found like a whole, I found the mother load, like a, just a whole account. I'm not gonna say where it's from because our fun might be ruined if I say where it's from. But I found a bunch of free real short films no, 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 I keep calling them films, but real short movies just lying around on the internet. Because on YouTube, you know, you can, I don't think you can post the whole thing. And even if you did, they're all scattered, and I didn't feel like collecting every part on YouTube. And sometimes there'll be some sound missing, or the there's no, like, the frames are completely black. It was like, so, yeah. But yeah, I found them. I found a bunch of them, and we're going to watch a couple I guess like they're all like an hour long I think I saw one of them that was an hour and a half long Taylor Evans 4.99 super chat paying my sub uh also you gonna watch Argyle in February also do you know the plot or just that Henry Cavill's in it all I know is that Henry Cavill's in it and he's a secret agent and yes I'm definitely watching that Spicy McTwisted skirt that system, Jay Long. Uh, yeah, always, one hundred percent, always. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna watch this because yeah, I found a bunch of them and I, I was so happy because I wanted to keep roasting this shit. <laughs> it's not gonna stop at my faded alpha, damn it. Yeah, and and also they have other wolf stories. They have um, you can't see it, I don't think, but on the right side, it, it's they have something called True Luna. They got, they just have, they have a whole bunch of, um, fantasy stories. They got my fatal temptation between two alphas. Just a bunch of like melodramatic bullshit. Like t they like telenovela type shit. But yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's see how long we can do this. That's why I started streaming a couple hours early. Cause I don't know how long this would possibly go on. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, that's right. Hey, Dad, can I borrow? Oh wait, wait, wait. Sh Oh shit, I forgot to explain. This one is called "The Double Life of My Billionaire Husband." And th 
the titles are just so clickbaity. Like they're not even the titles of actual films. It's something that yeah, it's something that you would use as clickbait on YouTube. It's so shitty. Oh, but anyway, let, yeah, let's go. Hey, Dad, can I borrow fifty thousand dollars? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yes, dear. Just stay there while I pull that out of my ass. <laughs> oh, look at their faces. So wait, are they married in real life? They both got the the same last name. That's interesting. But hey, look how they're just sitting there like, we just called you here uh, to watch like an episode of Reacher. We just wanted to watch Reacher with my our favorite child, and now you're asking for for fifty k. Get the fuck out. But she act like someone just stuck an acorn up her ass. <laughs> he looks like a doctor from the eighteen nineties. I mean, I don't know. This is weird. Mom needs kidney dialysis, and we really don't have any money. Natalie, the the thing is. How shameless of you to come here and beg us for money. I'll pay you guys back, I promise. Lauren, maybe we can let her borrow the money. I mean, it's her mother that's sick. Yeah, I, shit. I love You're how they're still thinking about your ex-wife? No, no. Do I need where, to remind you? Where the hell? Now? Where the hell is this? Hold on. I gotta rewind this. But, um... I just find it interesting. I don't even know what the hell... Like, that was, like... A speed run of information, and I just, I can't Mommy process it. I didn't And we really don't have any money. Natalie, the, the thing is. How shameless of you to come here and beg us for money. I'll pay you guys back, I promise. Lauren, maybe we can let her borrow the money. I mean, it's her mother that's sick. You're still thinking about your ex-wife? No, no. The, the bitch is dying, and this is my daughter. Like, what's, see, what? You think they'd already be on it. You know what I mean? You think that before it even it even got to this point that there was a bill, he would offer to pay the bill. I mean, I I get that he has a new wife, but still, this is the the woman who birthed your children. Like, if you have, like, I can't believe I'm taking. Like, I'm speaking about this in a serious manner, but like, if you have kids with this person, you think, and you had a little a little money, you think you'd help out already? Like, this wouldn't even need to be asked. <laughs> See, I guess I, you look, you're thinking like, oh, she's just asking for 50K just for the sake of it. But no, like her mom's dying. And now they're going to have the stepmother act like the w wicked stepmother. Do I need to remind you this is your family now? George, without me, you'd have nothing. Ah, it isn't my loser sister. <laughs> It's always the same stock characters in this like shit. A How pathetic. This is a mistake. Wait. We'll give you the money. What if you marry this rich billionaire who will beat the shit out of you? You marry Sebastian Klein in my place. You know, I was just kidding. <laughs> I was just playing. I was good. I was giving this movie the benefit of a doubt. And like assuming that wouldn't happen so quickly, but it turns out like my my r most ridiculous prediction was correct. <laughs> and who the fuck does it? Like, oh yeah, I was gonna marry this guy, um, this rich guy, and I seem like a really superficial money grubbing whore. But I want you to marry him because. <laughs> My daughter is so smart. That's a good idea. Sebastian Klein, the legitimate son of the Klein family. Isn't he in jail right now? Sebastian Klein, the guy who was, had, <laughs> oh God, the guy who had straight A's in third grade, whose umbilical cord was saved by his mother, <laughs> whose first car was a, was a Dodge, <laughs> whose first car was a Dodge Dart. <laughs> they, they just spelling out his whole backstory. Yep. He's a dirtbag and a good for nothing loser. That's why I can't marry him. That's right. 
Natalie is also your daughter. She can be the one who marries Sebastian Decline. No. What? <laughs> Sebastian Decline. Okay, like, if y'all are so sedity and rich, why, like, why are you even allowing your highfalutin daughter to marry this person? Oh my God, this is, this is worse than Generation Hope, actually. At least they allowed the, the, the plot to develop a little bit and like to develop it slowly. But they're just throwing shit at you. A tease, Cordy, two dollars super chat, Darman writing, got nothing on this. <laughs> the Star Bane. If it was a Darman movie, it turned out the guy was innocent and, fra and he was in framed and has a heart of gold. Oh, Lenore of Arabia. Okay, we got bargain bin, bargain bin, Blake Lively, and Anya Taylor Joy. You can be the one who marries Sebastian Decline. No, I'm not going to. Do you want us to pay for your mother's medical bills? Honestly, I didn't hear the decline part. It just sounds like she said Klein. And they put in the caption and thought you just, oh, well, the caption said she said it, so she must have said it, thinking that nobody would notice. Or not. Hey, Dad, you gonna do anything? Fine. <laughs> You're gonna stop this. I'll marry Sebastian Klein. You're gonna stop them from pimping out your daughter. <laughs> like, what the fuck was, even was any of this? Got them them pay less slides. Klein, <laughs> get up. It's time to go. Hurry the fuck up, Klein. I said move it. Move it before my accent changes. Jeez, officer, what is the rush? Most people want to get out of here faster. As I moku. Don't drive recklessly uh, again. Also, Next time hi, Chad. Hey, Jay. Well, uh, happy late Can't birthday. Make any promises, oh, thank officer. you. <laughs> Me and my officer's uniform with no patches or any indication that it's- oh my god. I hate this! It won't be just three days. I can't make any promises, officer. Yeah, me and my officer's uniform with no patches or any insignia. <laughs> Letting you know that I'm an officer of any kind of law. What is this? It's like he was stripped of every badge. Like he's about to get fired. I'm stripping you of your badge. <laughs> Not just your badge, but every... <laughs> There's any kind of... like What? He's just wearing a cargo shirt. <laughs> this is not... This is just a cargo shirt. That's all it is. Daniel, everything going according to plan? Yes, boss. You being in jail is the perfect alibi. Your father doesn't suspect a thing. Oh. What? <laughs> we put you in jail as the perfect alibi. <laughs> no one will suspect that you're up to no good because you were in jail. <laughs> That's not how it works. And what about the Quinn family? Any issues there? No, the Quinns have agreed to marry their daughter to you. Oh, huh. interesting. They kept their end of the bargain. Oh, wow. He sucks. But yeah, no one will suspect you're up to no good because um, you're you're <laughs> engaging in, in an arranged marriage and you're in prison. No one will suspect a thing. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. They keep their end of the bargain and that's when we move in. You got it, boss. This is the final. Why did you have to whisper that? You didn't say anything. Puzzle piece. So it begins. Let the games begin. <laughs> Don't worry, Natalie. I'm I'm sure.
sure the groom will be here soon. Just to be sure, as long as I do this, you'll give me the money, right? Yes, Natalie, just get the wedding over with and we'll give you the money, okay? You better keep your word. I can't believe they're marrying their daughter off to Sebastian Klein. I know, right? The Klein family. I know, right? Uh, arranged marriages in the Western world? What the fuck? You'd think there'd be some women's rights marches against this, but there just aren't. <laughs> I heard that he hangs out with thugs all day and he can't keep a job. Hell, he's late for his own wedding. Oh, well, he can't keep a job because he was in prison just five minutes ago. Excited for your wedding. <laughs> How does it feel to be marrying a bastard child? Not even his own family showed up for his wedding. I mean, clearly they don't value him. Oh, I also heard he's ugly as fuck. Can you be quiet? At least show some respect. Stop, stop, stop. The nigga is not that fine. <laughs> he's not, right? no, he's not fine at all. Oh God, like the quintessential slow-mo gazing at the sexiness of your future, <laughs> your future uh, you know, significant other, like, oh, ah, yeah. So I'm late. You must be the bride. No, yeah, I'm just the one in the white dress with the flowers and, and shit. <laughs> Standing next to my fucking father who's gonna give me away. No, yeah, um, no, I wasn't, I'm not the bride. I'm like the maid. I'm waiting for you guys to eat the Yes, bitch! <laughs> I'm your groom, Sebastian Klein. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends. Today we gather to witness and celebrate an act of deep love between this bride and this groom. I wasn't aware that the Quinn family had two daughters. I thought I'd be marrying Cassie Quinn today. I'm the older one. Hmm. My dad divorced my mom when I was three. So you're just like me, the black sheep of the family, huh? Are you disappointed I'm not the Quinn family heiress? I can't say that I am. Are you disappointed that you have to marry a good for nothing loser? Can't say that I am. And you shouldn't talk down on yourself like that. Do you, Sebastian Klein, take Natalie Quinn to be your wife, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, till death do you part? I do. Natalie Quinn, will you take Sebastian Klein as your husband, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, for as long as you may live? I do. Now I'm gonna need you to sign a warranty. <laughs> 90 day warranty on her pussy and on his dick. Uh. Exchange of rings. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Why are you whispering? <laughs> so what happens now? What do you mean? You're my wife now. Of course you're going to move in. jealous now even though I should have known everything about this dude what he looked like how much money he had and maybe I should have just uh, married him when I had the chance maybe this plot doesn't make sense I don't know this is our home now it's not much but I hope it meets your expectations no oh, it's uh, cozy and tidy yeah make yourself at home to look too closely at my crotch. Uh, a lot of women have not been able to control themselves. Oh, uh, which room will I be staying in? Oh. Um. Mine. One bedroom in the house, so I guess we'll be sleeping together. Isn't that what married people do? Isn't that what people in real short videos do? <laughs> I mean, I'm not ready. Don't, don't you think it's a little it's like we barely know each other? Don't you think we should wait? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just messing with you, Natalie. Look, I know that both of us don't want to be in this situation, so I figure we both just be the happy couple in public and just stay out of each other's affairs. And when the trust fund is released, then we can get a divorce. Uh, Tyler Caster, Jay, are these just stock music to not get copyrighted playing out here? Uh, I, I hope so. I don't want this shit to get striked. How's that sound? Deal. Deal. <laughs> oh, by the way. I'm gonna fuck the shit out of you. <laughs> and everything I just said was complete horseshit. I don't want to hear that my wife is pregnant with another man's baby while we're married. Even though we're never, yeah, we're never gonna have sex. We should, just, we don't even know each other. We should stay out of our way. But you, you will fuck no other man but me. <laughs> Until we get divorced, I'll be a good wife, and I'll respect our marriage. Robot Chicken six seventy one ninety nine super chat. I just got here. What the fuck is happening? Uh, you don't want to know. You can take the room. I'll take the couch. Like, being shirtless on a couch is just weird to me. It's just weird. And dude, like, it's supposedly, suppo he supposedly has money. Why can't, can't you, you just buy an air mattress? <laughs> Mikey Gussler, $10 super chat. Hey, Jay Longbone, hope you are doing well. I've been sick, COVID, oh shit. Uh, for the past several days and your streams have helped me get through days, get through the days. Thank you for all, yeah, for all that you do. Thank, well, you're welcome. And thank you for the super chat. I hope you get through it. I, I had COVID once. Ugh. 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 I hope you get through that. Um, so, like, just drink a lot of hot stuff. Don't drink anything cold, otherwise you're just gonna pro you're just gonna prolong the shit. Oh, you made me breakfast. Yeah, I have to go return my wedding dress so I won't be able to join you. Your dad didn't even buy you a wedding dress? Huh, I thought your family was rich. It's wasteful just to buy an expensive dress, just to only wear it once. Hmm. I'll see you later? Yeah. kills me is when they pick up their fucking smartphones and they only press one button to call somebody like motherfucker it takes a couple steps to call somebody it's gonna take a few more swipes and i mean i know you're trying to cut down on time but it's just weird Yo. give me all oh bum crack jones two two dollars super chat hi jay kiss kiss falcon and the winter soldier when one day i swear i just need to get my shit together <laughs> I'm trying to like, um, like drown out the noise of the internet app. and everything so I can work on the videos I want to work on. Uh, I'm not going to say what I'm trying to get out now because I just don't want to ruin my vibe. I want to keep going. Because I used to, like back in the day, I used to like make videos whenever uh, I made the videos I really wanted to make in that moment. And I'm trying to get back to that because I think I made much better videos, but you know, Let's just continue. Oh, Natalie Quinn. Boss, are you really gonna live in this shack with Miss Quinn? <laughs> Why don't you take her to the penthouse? And what? Tell her my real identity? Hmm. I mean, you can take her to a nice place without telling her, or without, <clears throat> shit, without telling her that, you, I don't know what the fuck he is, but without telling her your secret, <clears throat> shit. Oh, hiccups, hiccups. Yeah, you could take her to a place that isn't a, a La Quinta Inn, <laughs> you know, without telling her your secrets. It's possible. Natalie Quinn. Looks like she grew up with a rough life. Where are you going, boss? I'm gonna go check on my wife. I kind of like the music here. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's gone. No.
Hello. Um, I'm here to hand back my rentals. The satin on these shoes are scratched. These are designer. You have to pay a restoration fee. What? But they're rentals. What? Of course there's going to be normal wear and tears. These are too damaged. It'll be $500. $500? I might as well buy a new pair. Sure, buy them then. Retail price is two grand. Can you afford it? Don't get married if you have no money. Ah, and that pair is death. too ugly for my wife. Sweetheart, what? Where the hell did you come from? <laughs> Why don't you try that pair? But yeah, that's definitely a generation hope uh plot line definitely that's gener that's definitely a generation hope it, a, a generation hope premise definitely those are red bottoms limited edition it's seven thousand dollars we'll take it i refuse to believe that the, those shoes it's seven thousand dollars we'll take it Sebastian, seven thousand dollars is insane don't waste money like that. It's my wedding gift to you. Oh my gosh. Sit down, please. What's your shoe size, ma'am? She's a seven. How did you know that? I'm your husband. I know those things. And I have a foot fetish. <laughs> I can me I have the uncanny superhero ability of measuring a woman's feet. With just my, just by looking at them. Here's a size seven, ma'am. Give it a try. Are you just going to stand there? Help my wife put on the shoe. If this is going to be a problem, then I need to talk to your manager. Sebastian. that warm ginger ale he's drinking in her face. That looks lovely. Now put the other shoe on me. <laughs> Cheers. Wow, this is like the holidays. I wanted to say thank you. Yeah, the you. holidays when we just eat like yeah. random yellow, un <laughs> like, un like what the fuck is that? Yeah, is this some kind of like? I forgot the word. Oh my god, just some unrecognizable yellow smush and uh, string beans. Robot chicken six seventy one ninety nine super chat. Oh, he's a Karen. <laughs> Earlier. But Sebastian, I know you don't have a lot of money, so let's not waste money like that again. And what makes you feel like I don't have a lot of money? Uh, well, I mean. What, because you've heard the rumors? That I can't hold down a job, that I hang out with thugs, that I'm the outcast of the Klein family, I'm a bastard child. I didn't child. mean it like that, okay? I don't care what the rumors are. I just know that if we want to have a good life, we have to plan out financially. But I have a couple interviews lined up soon, so I'll be making money soon. And you'll support us? Of course. I mean, this is your house. I have to pitch in somehow. I mean, we are married after all. <laughs> what an interesting girl. <laughs> What an interesting girl. She, she supports herself and me, and she's very kind and considerate. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Real short. Something wrong? It's nothing. 
Okay. Where's dad? He's not here. Why are you here? Do you like the new purse daddy just bought for me? It's limited edition. You guys agree. <laughs> so you just sit around your, well, you know what? This, yeah, this probably is what she does all day. Just sit around in her living room, <laughs> posting pictures of her in ugly purses. Jack Diamond, five dollars super chat. Loved you and the crew watching Baby Girl too. Erotic fuckaroo. How did it feel to hear Mahler say "Baby Girl"? There's a hair on your. <laughs> did the hair on you stand up? Oh, oh God. <laughs> Agreed to pay my medical bills as soon as I married Sebastian. So why is it still showing up as not paid yet? Look. I said I'd give you the money, but I never said when. What's the <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What a fucking asshole! Like, is there a reason you're not giving it to her right away? I mean, what the fuck? I never said when. We need more. <laughs> we need more conflict for our crappy movie. Rush. What's the rush? Do you know how high my interest rates are? I am drowning in debt trying to pay. Also, my mother is dying and she doesn't have any time left. Pay off the medical bills. <laughs> Sounds like your problem, not ours. I married Sebastian for you. How is that not your problem? Where's dad? I want to talk to him. Your father is at work trying to make a living. Unlike you who just leeches off of us. Leech off of you. My mom never asked for child support, not once. I worked like a dog paying my way through college while Cassie over here gets a $20,000 handbag. Just give me my money and I'll go. Now! <laughs> How dare you raise your voice to me in my house, you ungrateful little bitch! Get out! You little bitch! Get out of my house! Oh, this is the worst fucking acting. Hey, hope you're hungry. Here, let me do that. No, I thought we should share the chores. I'm cooking tonight. Wait, hold on. What happened to your face? Uh, nothing. No, no, hold still. I mean, Slap and the you. thing is, it's not like he can go beat up an old lady for slapping the shit out of her. <laughs> so that sucks. No one, I, uh, I wasn't paying attention and I ran into a door. You expect <laughs> that is the oldest excuse in the book, and no one like it's so cliche that be, that's just a sign that you have been hit by somebody else. <laughs> this is so. Why would you say that? I'm, I ran I'm into a, a fucking door. Dinner. Really? A monster mangler. I mean, he could. <laughs> Thanks for dinner. It was so good. Yeah. Where did you learn how to cook? My mother taught me. Well, your mom must be a really good chef. Yeah, she was. She, um, she died when I was in middle school. This arranged marriage is so... Being a bastard son of the Klein family, Pleasant. we didn't get to enjoy the privilege that they did. The mansions, the servants, that whole thing. So. Yeah. I, I know what that's like. But it's okay. Goof R30. I'll cook. Goof R35. Ban assault mm. doors. Look, I'll do the dishes tonight. Oh, uh, thank you. I'm gonna watch something completely ridiculous <clears throat> next time. Something with magic. <laughs> Boss, I searched the traffic cams. It seems like Miss Quinn went back to her father's place today. Hmm. So her own family hit her. Put some pressure on her father's business. I mean, not her whole family. Like, they didn't just, they didn't take turns smacking the fuck out of her. I mean, she'd be a little more bruised than that. But, you know. Her own family hit her. And also the stepmother wouldn't really be, uh, or the, the wife of her father wouldn't actually be her family. Not really. We understand. I want to teach him a lesson. 
and cut to him just mowing down that old little bitch in the street. Sarah, it's 7 a.m. You are never gonna guess what. You have an interview with BM Enterprise at 10 a.m. today. BM Enterprise. Yes. Sarah, you're the best. Well, there's just one little issue. What? Well, Kyle and Serena from college work there as well. Um, Kyle is a VP. Kyle, like the guy who asked me out 300 times and wouldn't take no for an answer? Yeah, that one. So Kyle and Serena. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> the guy with the cleft lip and uh, who graduated from honors <laughs> from Yale and who also um, found a dead body when he was nine. Look, yeah, that guy. Are engaged now. Great. Just what I need. Hey, morning. You're up early. Hey, I have to go. Uh, my bestie got me an interview. Oh, where? BM Enterprise. Wish me luck. Good luck. Wish me luck. <laughs> One thing I will say about this, about this, the wardrobe is actually pretty good. Nobody's looking busted in this, which is interesting to me. It's like the acting's trash. Um, everything else like is generic, but the, like the, see, look, the wardrobe is like so actually pretty good. <laughs> I don't get it. Serena, I don't get how that works. I didn't know you would be my interviewer. Life is so funny that way. When Kyle mentioned you had applied, I told him I just had to be the one to interview you. <laughs> how nice. Mm -hmm. And you just got engaged, right? Oh. Congratulations. <laughs> And you just got married too, right? To Sebastian Klein. Well, everyone's been talking about it. Wasn't he like in jail? Everybody's been talking. <laughs> forgot my fucking ears were covered up. Just get on with the interview. Everybody's been talking about it. <clears throat> she did it again. <laughs> Natalie, you don't have a single serious job on here. You worked at Walmart. Mm -hmm. Walmart? I'm applying for an entry level position. On the job description, it says no experience necessary. I'm a fast learner. I have a 4.0 GPA. Oh, Natalie, let's be real here. After graduating college, nobody cares about your GPA. I don't care what the job description says. After seeing you in person, I can tell you are just not qualified for this position. Nobody even knows what that the fucking bitch. position she is. She was never gonna give me a fair chance. She did that interview just to humiliate me. I am so sorry, Natalie. Like, I really, I shouldn't have even reached out. Do not worry, okay, I have a few other companies lined up for you. It's okay. You were just trying to help me find a job faster. <laughs> Vansy, I went to college! With your new husband. He's actually really nice, but... Looks like the offspring of Michael Michelle and Sean Penn. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, the whole time I'm like, she looks like Sean Penn. Why? But what? But my dad still hasn't given me the money like I asked Zymo for. Uh, Zymo and bleh, Zymo no one cares like about your GPA. Drowning true. in debt. But does your mom still not know that you married someone to pay off her medical bills? But does your mom still not know that you married someone to pay off her medical bills? I can't tell her. She would literally freak out. Literally. You're going through some crazy shit right now. Hey, well, do you have anything that you can sell for fast cash? I have a couple grand saved up I can let you borrow. Sell so, for fast cash. Actually, Sarah, that's a really good idea. Bonesaw is ready. She She's at least not an off-putting Mary Sue character. True, true, true. Jack Diamond, Walmart isn't a serious job. It takes a lot of willpower. Uh... Oh my God, typos. It takes a lot of willpower not to end yourself while working there. It doesn't get more serious than that. I gotta go. I'll catch you later. Wait. Okay. Uh. Boss, Jason. I gotta hurry up and sell some shirt. shoes. Like, did you need to leave so rudely because of that? So now we just need Jack and Tony. Right. 
Maybe I can just do a quick pawn shop loan with these. I'll get it back once I find a job. Was that necessary? Wait a minute, isn't that Miss Quinn? Where's she going with a shoebox? Follow her. How much can I get for these? Uh, never worn them once. Hmm. Pristine condition. Excellent brand. I'll give you 2K. 2,000. They're brand new and they cost 7,000. Look, lady, best I can do is 2K. Take it or leave it. She pawned off the shoes you bought her. I love how he said, "Oh, pristine condition." <laughs> like he was giving himself away. Uh, like, why would you oversell them like that and then say, "Oh, only two thousand? <laughs> it's kind of shitty and not really good deal if you're uh, not a good business deal if you are a pawnbroker. Is all I'm saying. I bought her the shoes. She can do whatever she wants with them. She must really need That's money. Quit Why bugging your eyes me up, for yeah. help. Why didn't she ask me for help? Because you, because she, she's under the impression that you have no money, dummy. Actually, I don't want to sell these anymore. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, fine. I'll give you three k. You look like you can use the cash, so I'm gonna help you out. Actually, they mean a lot to me. I don't want to sell them. Excuse me now? Don't be greedy. 3K is a lot of money. What the money? <laughs> it's not about the money. I'm sorry. So you're just here to waste if my he's time? Some, if he's some scuzzy pawn guy, he should be wearing a louder shirt than this. That's all I'm saying. They usually wear those, um, you know, those shirts that uh, Miami drug dealers wear. <laughs> It's usually gold and shit. Like, Get yeah, he's out to my store. And how the fuck you're mad that you didn't have to give up three thousand dollars? This is so backwards. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, pretty lady. What the fuck? <laughs> Where are you, bitch? It was daytime when you left the shop. Hey. It looks like she's in like a furniture warehouse when they're, when they, when, you know, when they start to close and they turn off the lights. It, that's what this looks like. It, who the, and when you left the shop, it was daytime. The fuck is this? Hey, hey, pretty lady. What you holding? Hurry up. Hand it over. Get away from me. She's a looker, isn't she? Oh, boy. This ugh. ponytail nigga with, <laughs> with, the, with the nail file in his hand. You want to have some fun with her first? Stop that. Just get the thing get out. Oh, this acting is shit. Stop it. You take that and go. <laughs> Look her, isn't she? You want to have some fun with her first? Stop that. Just get the thing, get out. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> so good the way he brought. Hang on. Let's ruin that. Over. Get away from me. She's a looker, isn't she? You want to have some fun with her first? Stop that. Just get the thing, Stop get that. out. Like, what? <laughs> She was already scared shitless. And you got what you wanted. Why did you need to do that? You take that and go. That's so uncomfortable. I'm not my fun with her. Help! Somebody help me! Hey! Get your hands off my wife! Get your hands off my wife! <laughs> uh, the fangirl down the street, fight Alice Super Chat. I'm sure if she put uh, level 500 in Ward Farm Adventure on her resume, she would have taken her more seriously. Oh, boy. No, you okay? Yes, I'm sure okay, just be careful. 
Listen, buddy, I don't know who you are, but if you don't want to get your ass whooped, I suggest you get the fuck out of my face! My face! He takes his earrings off. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, just cut away from it. Thanks. Which hand did you use to touch my wife? What? I said, which hand did you use to touch my wife? I mean, it was both of them. <laughs> Cause he pushed her, remember? Please don't hurt me, I'm sorry. We were just following orders. Shut up, dumbass. What orders? What? Ill-fitting music for this. Orders. Okay. Looks like I have to break something now. Oh, please, please, please. Yeah, that wasn't a break. He kind of just kicked his hand a little bit. I'm sorry. I'll tell you everything. Nick Volkov, he's in the Russian mob. <laughs> Nick Vol, he's in the Russian mob. And we wanted, the Russian mob wanted to harass you because, yeah. He told us to do this because she wouldn't agree to sell. Hmm, the Russian. What? The ru wait, 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 wait. This dude took the pawnbroker, <laughs> took her rejection so seriously. He he was so offended that he could not give her three thousand dollars for a pair of fucking shoes. That he sent two goons after her in a in a furniture show show. In a furniture warehouse, <laughs> closing up, and and the, uh, oh, what? Baba, will you tell Nick Volkov that Sebastian Klein is coming? Oh, nigga, whatever. With that John Travolta swag. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why are you saying sorry? I shouldn't have tried to pawn off your gift. I changed my mind, I couldn't go through with it. That's what you're sorry about? Yeah, is, isn't that why you're mad? No, no, I'm mad because if you had money problems- Marionic, that Mario Brothers pawn shop rubber tree. Yeah, he's a, he sent two thugs to go after her in that closed furniture warehouse <laughs> at night because he did because he she wouldn't let him give her three thousand dollars for a pair of shoes like when you say it out loud it's just mind-numbingly fucking stupid but you should have come to me i'm your husband why didn't you ask me for help you could have gotten hurt today and what if i wasn't there what was going through your head natalie my husband yes you were the one that said that this is all pretend and that we should just get divorced what choice do i have I got rejected from BM because the interviewer hates my guts. I married a stranger because my mom is in the hospital and I have no way to pay her medical bills and I am drowning in debt trying to pay them off. I don't know what to do with Sebastian. I am trying my best. Oh, your struggles are so, make me so hot. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Movie, but she wasted his time, Jay. I'm sorry I lost my temper with you. Sebastian. And, uh, what was it that you were saying about marrying me because of your mom's treatment? Last week, I went to go ask my dad for money. Mm hmm When I went to go ask him, he just gave me this look. Okay, so your dad still hasn't paid you like he promised, and then the BM interview was sabotage, and that's why you try to sell the shoes. Yeah. It's okay though. My friend Sarah has a few interviews lined up for me, and I'm sure I'll get a job soon. Why don't we just move into the city tomorrow? It'll be much easier for you to find a job, and then, I don't know, we'll just figure out the rest. Tomorrow? Yeah. But how can we afford that? My friend, he is out of town and he actually wants me to look after his place. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Look. How cool. <laughs> How coincidental. 
Like, come on, look, girl, you got no questions? Paid $7,000 for shoes on a whim? Uh, oh, oh, let's just move to the city on a whim because uh, oh, uh, uh, I have friend, a friend who wants me to watch after his place. Read the room, bitch. <laughs> I'm your husband. Forget what I said earlier. You can rely on me. Okay. Holy shit, Sebastian. Your friend's place is so nice. You must really be- I mean, nice if you like the sterile, boxy, completely uninviting look. And yeah, it's really rich. Nice. I mean, it's nice in the sense that there's no dirt. <laughs> Yeah. He's a trust fund baby, so this is just one of his many places. Well, he can tell him it's in good hands. By the time he gets back, it'll look exactly like the way it left it. <laughs> I'll be sure to pass that along. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to take this. Once I finish my plan, I'll tell her the truth. Dr. Story, is everything okay with my mom? That me, everything is fine. Your mother's treatments are going very well. Is this about the payments? I'll have them soon, I promise. I just really need to figure everything out and- I see here, it's already been paid in full. Paid in full? By who? Let's see, it says George Quinn. I'm so happy to hear that. <laughs> I'll pause it perfectly, hey, that's not a creepy face at all. <sighs> oh, hilarious. Hang on a second. Oh. oh, come on. Fuck. Okay, wait, there it goes. I just want to get. Damn it! Oh. It always does. Hold on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Okay, there we go. All right, I had to cap that right quick. Thank you, Dr. Soroyan. Bonesaw is ready, fight all the super chat. This is trash, but she's a better female character than 95% of female Marvel characters in the last five years. True. What the hell are you doing here again? <laughs> you come here to beg us for money, we don't have it. Money? I'm here to thank my dad for paying the bills. He hasn't answered my calls. What are you what? doing here, you little cockroach? <laughs> that bastard. George! George! That bastard. It bitches my money. Like. <laughs> How dare you go behind my back and pay your wife's medical bills? What? I. <laughs> what the fuck? He's still sitting on the same spot as the last time. He's just, he's just been sitting there with that same expression on his face in fear. Just the whole. <laughs> the whole. <laughs> Like, for the whole 28 minutes we've been watching this. I, I, we're having so much financial trouble right now, and you're still thinking about her? Do you want a divorce? Is that what this is about? Financial? I mean, yeah, but it has nothing to do with this. <laughs> also, uh, what is up with this fucking music? It's not suitable for this. Look, things have been rough, all right? My contracts have been getting canceled left and right with no reason. You hear that? So, if you're still here to beg us for money, get the hell out. If you had any decency, you'd ask your husband to help us. I mean, I know he's just a bastard, but he's still a member of the Klein family, isn't he? The least he can do would be a little bit useful to us. Don't talk about my husband like that. And no, I'm not here to ask for money. The bills have already been paid. Whoa, 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 whoa. no, 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 I swear I didn't pay the bills. What was up with that fucking soundtrack? Cassie, sweetheart. Didn't you say a guy in the FBI has been asking you out on dates? Yeah, what about it? Ask him to check. Ask him if he's staged any rallies lately. <laughs> check on the payments and see who paid the bills for Natalie's mother. If I find out your dad's been lying. Commit a federal crime so I can be a meddling bitch, please. <laughs> give him hell. <sighs> this 
So I'm confused. Like, did, did your dad like pay for the medical bills or no? I don't know. I think he did, but he's also so scared of Lauren that he said he didn't. That must be the only explanation, right? Well, as long as the bills are paid, that's all that matters. Yeah. I just feel like this weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Mm. <laughs> now all I need to do is get a job in the city and live my best life. Do not worry. I have two interviews lined up for you next. I tell you, the black girl's got a schnoz on her. Jesus Christ. It's so, like, noticeable. You know what I mean? Like, you can't avoid it. It's, it's just, like, right there. <laughs> Forget BM. They don't deserve you. Yeah. I'm just kind of disappointed, though. BM is my dream company. Look, in just three years, they took Silicon Valley by storm. The founder must be a genius. Jack Diamond, I will say yes, she has high I'm respect afraid. for uh, men in her life. No male hate, yay. Yeah. Like. See, that's how, this that's how shitty, line. like, uh, uh, Western, <laughs> that's how shitty, like, Western entertainment has gotten, that real shorts is doing a better job and female protagonists than the just mainstream movie studios. That's fucking ridiculous. That's sick. <laughs> it makes me want to vomit. Stacy Barrera files super chat. All these Darman esque videos are a product of people just loving to be the victim. Funny, but kind of messed up. Love you though. <laughs> Thank you, Stacy Barrera. Word on the street is that he deals in weapons with the Russians. That's why he keeps such a low profile, and that's why he's been able to bankroll his companies with no investments. No way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, let's see. Oh my god. What? <laughs> I just heard back from the BMHR department. You've been hired. <laughs> You've been hired. I was hoping they would toast to the like to the beat of the song, like right when or that close. last drum hit. <laughs> I said we're closed. It doesn't mean keep hitting the door. Look, man. I said Look, we're man. closed. <clears throat> yeah. What the? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Let me go or else I'm gonna fucking kill you. You should be expecting me, Mr. Volkov. I said I would be coming. I don't know who the fuck you. Wait a minute. You're that little bitch's boyfriend. <laughs> don't you ever fucking disrespect my wife again. I was gonna, I thought he was gonna say we're all kissing. Do you know who I am? Do you know what it's like, like to kiss someone who's friends. just smoked? <laughs> You're messing with the wrong dude. You're messing with powerful the wrong friends. dude. Let me guess. Peter Romanov. You, you know Peter? Hmm. And I love how, like, his, his last name is Romanov. Like, well, sorry, Romanov. It sounds like Romanov. I think those are two. Yeah, those are two different last names. But still, it's very similar to Romanov. <laughs> like they couldn't come up with anything fucking original. They had just oh, yeah, what sounds Russian? Like oh, a Romanov. Yeah, I, I've seen I've seen Anastasia. So. <laughs> and you should know not to fuck with the bratva. The bratva. Why don't we just give Peter a little call, shall we? He's in my five. <laughs> Mr. Myers, to what do I owe the pleasure? Peter. Get the, he sounds like a character from GCA4. What the fuck? <laughs> Mr. Myers, he sounds like a cartoon character. I have a little friend of yours here by the name of Nick Volkov. He has disrespected my wife and I am very very pissed. Mr. Myers, I am so Very sorry pissed. for the trouble he's caused. Can't you Would tell? Would you like me to get rid of him? <laughs> Peter, let's not be dramatic here. I just want him to do something for me. Then we could call it even. 
I hope he doesn't have a gag reflex. That sound good? <laughs> of course, Mr. Myers. Anything you want. You hear that, my boy? Every time I see a motherfucker threaten somebody near a pool table, I immediately think of In Too Deep. And then I'm just like, oh, no. <laughs> I'm just taking a seat. And little Cool J lubing up that fucking pool stick. That's <laughs> why you can't help it. Did Peter call you <laughs> Mr. Myers? Oh, you heard me. Your Bash Myers. Bash Myers. I am Bash Myers. Yeah, okay, you didn't need to say that. Wow. Oh, hey, you're back. Yeah. You're just in time for dinner. Oh, what's the occasion? Well, you'll have to wait and see. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Guess what? What? I got a job at BM Enterprise. Really? That's wonderful. <laughs> it's like great. Wait a minute, Zaimoku. Uh, do I want to know what the N2D billiard scene is? Um, I'm guessing you've searched it on YouTube already. <laughs> You can click it and find out. They don't show anything explicit, but, you know, the implications being made are very clear. <laughs> but every time, every time somebody's getting threatened near a pool table, I, 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 my mind immediately goes to that and I start laughing. Crazy, because I totally thought Serena was going to fail me. And even my dad paid my mom's medical bills. I feel like my life is taking a complete flip and everything is going really well. Bone saw is ready. You know what? This is corny as hell, but I'm enjoying it. Natalie is kind of sweet. Yeah. I think you bring me good luck. Yeah. Look, Natalie, the thing is. Cheers. Shut up! <laughs> Alright, I'm back. Said that you've been too many times before. Ended up staring in the back. Yeah, like I give real short their props. Like she you know, like there's there's a marriage here. <laughs> and even though it is arranged and that's not very ideal, like there's still like, there's no animosity between them. Like, there's no man versus woman plot. Like, it's, it's, it is nice to see it. And like I said before, it's a fucking shame that they're doing a better job at a relationship than, than modern, than modern media, than Western media. This fucking, that's, I mean, this is technically, this is also Western media, but I'm just saying, like, American media. Oh. <laughs> That's sad. That's really fucking sad. The bedroom floor. Baby, you can take my word. You haven't got to hurt no more. Things are about to get much better. James Mercer. Jay, I, I have not drank in seven years. It's making me want to drink again. Why? Because they're drinking wine? <laughs> or because of the, the horrendous quality in writing? <laughs> Oh, wow. I think we need another one. That should be a little buzz by now. <laughs> Judging from her facial expressions, she might be drunk. <laughs> for real, it sounds like some family guy shit. <laughs> this song. Oh, Natalie, I never thought I would find real love when we got married, huh? Me neither. 
<laughs> Especially when you told me you just got out of jail, bro. Let me tell you, I was low key freaking out. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, and what about now? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Natalie, 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 wait, just wait, just wait. Just shut up and kiss me. You owe me a wedding night. Whoa, what? Natalie, just hold on. Just give, give me one. Damn, she. <laughs> some shit we're all no you just got some wine on your shirt i'm gonna change like you were supposed to be got a misunderstanding but no she was really trying to get it in damn <laughs> well that was quick hold up so the whole reason that i married you is because of this skipping of generational trust fund thing my maternal grandparents they set this whole thing up um you know, their family was Myers and the Quinn family and my mother's maiden name is Myers and that's why you get BM, like the company, you know, so. Yeah. Natalie. Natalie. <laughs> hey, can I get some real blankets and not a fucking... <laughs> a sheet of aluminum foil, please. I mean, it's no, drafty. Daniel, I'm not going to have make sure everything insulation. Ready to go. I need to pull the net. Soon. Okay, the lighting here is kind of okay. <laughs> I'm wondering where all that... I'm wondering if uh, the sun is hurling towards the earth, though. <laughs> Did you hire Natalie Quinn? Why is she reporting for her first day when I specifically told HR she failed her interview? What are you talking about? You know I don't deal with new hires. Wait a minute. What is it? Her hire came directly from the CEO's office. I kind of hate how well this couple is coming across. Yeah, it's oh, oh it's so funny. it's so like it's supposed to be. It's a good thing, but like I don't like how this is better than most shit that's coming out come that's come out in America. I don't like <laughs> like most. I, I can't stand how well adjusted this is. This is this ain't right. It's not supposed to happen this way. I don't know whose dick you had to suck to get this job. <laughs> But just so you know, we have a strict company policy, and anyone who cannot make a sale within the first month gets fired. Excuse me? You heard me. Now get those client reports on my desk by tomorrow morning. Marshmallow cream. Why did they pick the most generic music possible? Anything to avoid copyright problems. <laughs> Hi, this is Natalie Quinn from BM Enterprise. Um, I was just wondering if you wanted to... Hi, this is Natalie Quinn from BM Enterprise. Can I please talk to Mr. Louie? Hello. Ebony Williams, is this from the same people who made made it to my fate, Forbidden Alpha? Well, faded to my Forbidden Alpha. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hello? If it isn't Natalie Quinn. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> it's been so long. If it isn't Natalie Quinn. <laughs> Did they use a different take? <laughs> In the next part? Okay. That's it's not been weird. so long. Kyle, what are you doing here? I heard you joined. Of course I had to come by and Adam Guy 2003 BM Enterprises. Hi. Yeah, bowel movement enterprises. Nice to see you again, Kyle. You know Natalie. Where's Stacy? BM is cutthroat, and if you don't make sales, well you're dead. I believe I have what it takes to survive. Natalie, sweetheart, with my position here, I can give you a leg up. You know, there's an annual company. If you let me put a Friday, leg up, you know what I mean. All the <laughs> Serena can't make it, so I can bring you as my plus one, show you around, if you catch my drift.
No, thank you. I'm fine by myself. Uh, but I better get going. My husband is waiting for me. So hard being a perverted ginger. So I was your first day at work. And now they're all sitting around in matching fucking pajamas. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Pleasantly watching television. Fuck you. <laughs> Trust tool, but don't worry, I've got it all under control. Um, Sebastian, so there's this annual company event thing on Friday. Mm -hmm. Everyone's going, and you can bring a plus one. So I was wondering if you would go with me. Oh, uh, you're planning on going? I mean, yeah, Bash Myers might be there, and he might finally reveal his identity. Bash Myers, I don't. Oh my God. <laughs> don't tell me you don't know. <laughs> okay, so let me fill you in on all the deeds. Okay. So there's this guy, Daniel Walters, he runs it. Mm -hmm. But the founder is this super mysterious guy, his name's Bash Myers. Mm. No one knows who he is, what he looks like, his age, nothing. And the word on the street is, he's part of a Russian mob. Does oh, he also have me. perfect hair? <laughs> Mom. Uh, that was a peculiar walk towards her mother. It was very seductive, and in that dress, it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Tone it down, girl. Remember when you asked me to look into the hospital payments to see if they really came from Dad? Yeah. Did you hear back? Was it him? So, the name on the account was Dad's. Oh, I knew it. That old I bastard lied to me. I'm gonna go rip him a new one. Wait, mom. But the money. He's already hanging from the fucking ceiling. Let's be real. Didn't come out of that account. <laughs> Look. That's the account number that made the payments to the hospital. It's not Dad's. So he could have asked someone else to do it to cover his ass. Right. That's what I thought so too. So I did a little digging with my FBI friend and. The account below. I did a little digging with my FBI friend. In other words, he was digging in my asshole. <laughs> Thanks to Daniel Walter. Daniel Walter? As in the CEO of BM Enterprise? <laughs> oh. Mom, something's not right. Why does she have paint swatches as earrings? <laughs> it's almost nine. Why are you just getting here now? Because work starts at nine. When I was first starting out, I would get here early and get everybody coffee. Treat your colleagues, Natalie, and maybe even you will make some friends. Fine, Serena. I can get you coffee. What do you want? Just me? Our sales team is 20 people. Order for everyone, and don't forget Mr. Walter, the CEO. Here. I text you the order list. Go fetch it. Okay, that, that outfit is trash. That's a little too baggy. I don't know what the fuck. And she's got the wrong hairstyle to go with it. But whatever. <music> Bitch, you look more conspicuous that way. What, what are you doing? Hi. Bouncing around like a spaz. Hi. I was wondering which floor is Mr. Walter on? Do you have an appointment with Mr. Walter? No, but this is really important. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I can't let you up without an appointment. Mm. Oh. Sorry. <clears throat> Thing is, I'm pregnant with his baby. I am sure that won't cause any issues. Ugh. 
Oh, you moron. And, um, he doesn't want to take responsibility, and so he's just, he's just abandoned me, and I'm stuck, and I'm sorry. Today was my last chance to reach him. Oh, my God. <sighs> Ma'am, I'm, I'm so sorry. I Dear God, dear God. I set you up without an appointment. My job is at stake here. But, but, but Mr. Walter's parking spot is 3A. You should totally go and try waiting for him there. But don't tell anyone I told you. Thank you. You, you know, if someone finds out you, that you told her that shit, you, and and she keys his car like you, you going down for this. So, I just I, three A three A three S three A. God bless you. Oh dear God! Like end the scene. Just end the fucking scene. <laughs> Ain't no way you can ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way you carried all that hot ass fucking car. Well, some of it probably isn't. No, no, it wouldn't it wouldn't be. It's in specifically in those. You got Mr. Walter an Americano. Yeah, that's what it said on the list. Oh, my bad. I must have typed too fast. No, Mr. Walter's favorite is the hazelnut latte, so go and have them make it again. Are you serious? I have work to do. What could be more important than getting coffee for the CEO? Plus, this is probably your only chance to show your face in front of Mr. Walter, so go get him another one and then bring it to his office. It's at the end of the hall. <sighs> hmm, looks like he's not in his office. I'll just leave the coffee for him. Mr. Walter, are you in there? I'm here to deliver. Oh no! <laughs> You're caught, bro! Uh, Mr. Walter, are you in here? I'm here to bring... Sebastian, what are you doing here? Why didn't you tell me sooner you were interviewing for executive assistant? Oh, I wanted to be a surprise. Just in case Mr. Walter here doesn't... Like, oh, you're just casually <laughs> interviewing for an executive assistant. And she doesn't really, she's not, that doesn't bring her any pause. Considering if just five sec seconds ago, he was a no good Nick <laughs> in prison. Hire me, I didn't want you to be disappointed. Right, yeah, exactly right. Uh, Miss Quinn, I mean, Natalie, right? What was it you said you needed? Oh, um, I was here to bring you a coffee. Uh... Oh, my manager, Serena, she asked me to buy coffee for the whole team, including you. I'm not looking for a favor or anything. Boss is gonna kill me. You know what? I actually don't really like coffee that much. Why don't we just give that to your husband? Oh. Uh, the thing fell really? off. The little paper thing fell off. Because <laughs> um, my manager said that you love hazelnut latte. Wait, I'm deathly allergic to hazelnut. Mm. <laughs> the, the hazelnut mystery music? The fuck was that all about? Mr. Walter, oh my god, uh, help! My EpiPen is in the bag. Uh, uh, Found it, Mr. Walter, hold on. Mr. Um, why is he, he didn't drink that shit. So why, why are we doing this? Walter, oh my God, Natalie, what? Or is this all like a ruse, but like, why would you pull out an EpiPen when they weren't even in the room yet? What the fuck did you do? <sighs> Mr. Walter, how are you feeling? Oh. Better. Oh, you, you did this to Mr. Walter. Are you trying to get Mr. Walter killed? Trying to get him killed. You were the one that told me to get him a hazelnut latte. 
I did no such thing. I specifically told you to get Mr. Walter an Americano and I specifically told you he was allergic to hazelnuts. See, Mr. Walter, I told her to get you an Americano. Mr. Walter, you almost died today. Natalie has to be fired. We cannot have someone this evil working in our company. And I think we should sue her. You, you did this to Mr. Walter. You were trying to get Mr. Walter killed. Trying to get- Why would she try to kill him? Like, <laughs> if I was, <clears throat> that's not even a realistic ex excuse someone will come up with in that situation. You tried to kill our boss, like why? <laughs> get him killed? You were the one that told me to get him a hazelnut latte. <gasps> I did no such thing. I specifically told you to get him an Americano and You're doing I this whole scene told you over he was again? allergic to hazelnuts. Mr. Walter, see for yourself. I told her to get you an Americano. Mr. Walter, you almost died today. Natalie has to be fired. We cannot have someone this evil working at our company. And I think we should sue her. What the heck, Natalie? This doesn't seem like something you would do. I mean, what the hell are you thinking? She has always been like this. You've just been too blind to see it. You're right. We can't have someone so evil in the company. Okay. Serena? Let's see what they're doing. Okay, so it was a ruse, but why did you say, like, get my, my EpiPen is in the drawer? And why were you already performing before they got even got in the office? Like, that doesn't make any sense. That was, for, was that just for the audience? That's some bullshit. Kruger, uh, Kruger forever, uh, 199 super chat, hazelnut, dun dun dun. You're fired. Sir Alrighty, uh, Vinny Ladders, $2 super chat. This needs R. Kelly singing narration over it. <laughs> she got him the hazelnut. <laughs> Serena? Mm -hmm. You're fired. My EpiPen's in the drawer! <laughs> Mr. Walter, I, I... Oh, my bad. I must have typed too fast. No, Mr. Walter's favorite is a hazelnut latte, so go and have them make it again. Mr. Walter... What? Why were you recording that whole time? How... How were you recording that whole time? What... What, what reason would you possibly need to record that? <laughs> what, what... How? Oh my god, this, this shit's all over the place. That isn't me. Don't believe her. That That's not me. Mr. Walter, should we sue her for attempted murder? Maybe, maybe, maybe do something. Uh, that's not me. Mr. Walter, I swear this has nothing to do with me. Um, <laughs> I can't marry someone like you. Let's break up. <laughs> I can't marry someone like you. Let's break up. <laughs> What the, yeah, go back to the relationship. Even though he's like, uh, yeah, can we just, let's move back to the relationship stuff. Like, this is entertaining, but you know, it's really killing the vibe. Come on, where the hell is he? Isn't that Sebastian Klein? What the hell is he doing here? Boss, wait up. Did Daniel Walter just call Sebastian Klein boss? Boss, wait up. Everything went well? She has the dexterity of a newt. <laughs> yes, your missus is a smart woman. The plan worked. We fired Serena and then Kyle dumped her. But like, Gal didn't approach her. Like before, <laughs> how was she, how did she get inside her head to record when she wouldn't really need to with that bullet. Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. Of course she is. She is my wife. Oh, and by the way, get rid of Kyle. I can't have a coward in my company. Especially one that leaves his fiance to save his own ass. You got it, boss. Capabilities never outweigh poor character. Oh, and the company event this Friday. Yes, I'll be there. And I'll take Natalie too. I'll tell her the truth. Is everything going according to plan? Everything is good to go. Hmm. Just a few more days left. And I finally get what I deserve. 
Thank you for everything you've done, Daniel. Truly. It was an honor. Like, even soon. if you were recording him, you would not be able to record what they're saying. Not clearly, at least. Yes. Sebastian Klein. Sebastian Klein is a bash Myers. How did you pick up that from that? My God! How did you get? My God! How did you get that angle from that squatting you were doing? <laughs> Sebastian Klein is Bash Myers? Ah, this is so unfair! I should have been the one who married Sebastian Klein. Well, dumbass we bitch, maybe. Out of his trust fund when he's worth billions. It, it seems Natalie doesn't know this yet. No, you heard him. He's gonna tell her Friday at some the company event. <gasps> Cassie, listen to mommy this time. I'll help you get Sebastian Klein. No, you won't. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, this is one of those situations where um, there's going to be a third act breakup and it's it's going to be the most incomprehensible. Like, yeah, he was lying, but then the lie isn't really that, you know, serious because he was already in prison and you're already in a situation where you are forced to be together. So it doesn't really make sense. <laughs> uh, Kettle, $5 Super Chat. Why is the show intentionally leaving out information for a cheap twist? I have no idea. Like, it, this is real short in a nutshell. But yeah, the, the revealing of his secret, like, it's just... If it's going to be one of those things where she, like I said, she breaks up with him... Because he was hiding something. It's just, is like, okay. But it's not, like, what? He was already a criminal when you met him. <laughs> Who cares? Heading to work. Catch you later. Huh. Okay. Have fun at work, honey. <laughs> yes. Mr. Myers, I did as you asked. Can we call it even now? Mm. Jack, Tony, hungry? Eat some food. Mr. Klein, mm. what's the meaning of this? What's the meaning Can of this? Tony and I to have lunch with you? Just cut to the chase and tell us what you want. Daniel. If Jack and Tony aren't hungry, I guess we can get straight to business. <clears throat> Ridiculous. Why the hell would I sell all my shares to you? Mr. Klein, mm. let me remind you, we are the biggest shareholders of Klein Enterprise. You don't want to piss us off. Let us go, and we can pretend none of this happened. Mm. That's right. What would your father say if we told him about this? <laughs> what would my father say? Huh. That's a funny one. Actually, Jack, you know, you just reminded me of something. Ooh. Take a look at those. Where, where did you get these? Ooh. Take a look at those. Now, Jack, what would your wife say if I were to show her those photos? Where, where did you get this? And if I'm not mistaken, she did just have your third child, am I right? This is the same fucking music from Faded to my... Oh yeah, I already forgot the title. Like, the, the alpha video that, that, that we watched. This is the same music from the intro! 
And also, this is very yeah. That that's like the same scene from 365 Days when he was threatening that bank with nudes. <laughs> I found your nudes. Yeah, they're doing it again. Yeah. I will sign over the shares, mm -hmm. but please, please don't tell my wife. I <laughs> don't tell my wife. I like to dress up. <laughs> don't let my wife know that I like to dress up as Fu Manchu and be whipped. <laughs> <laughs> I know you did. I know you did. Hmm. And I also know that you've been trying to get rid of your mistress. But she just won't go away. We can kill her for you. That. Of course you know about we that know too. about that. Yeah. Cheating is a risky business, my friend. Don't do it again. And hell. I'll throw a fight on <clears throat> super chat. Why do you think Western dialogue has declined so far? I have no idea. Ugh. I also know that you've been trying to get rid of your mistress. But she just won't go away. You know about that too? <laughs> of course we know about that. Cheating is a risky business, my friend. Don't do it again. And hell, I'll even throw in a freebie. <clears throat> I'll give you a reward. You shine over all of those shares. He doesn't like cheating it. either. He's and you so can good. go back playing the domesticated, loyal husband that you've been playing. How does that sound? Thank you, Miss Miss Clyde. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. What? Uh, what are you gonna blackmail me with? <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I love signing away my shares. It makes me nut. <laughs> Look at what the fuck! <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Yeah, I gotta cap this. Hang on a sec. Actually, I'm gonna cap both of them because it's just... <laughs> oh, fuck. What are you gonna blackmail me with? Oh, I don't have anything on you, Tony. You know, but I have been inspired lately. You see, I recently discovered that you are deathly allergic to shrimp. And if you don't sign over the rest of those shares, then Daniel here is gonna shove one of those shrimps down your throat. Oh, I'd be happy to, Mr. Klein. <laughs> ah, see how easy that was? Cheers. Daniel. Now let's have some chocolate fudge cake. <laughs> I can tell you're not moving in that car because there's no trees. Hey, Sebastian, can you come here for a sec? Hey, wifey, what are you up to? Girly things. What'd you go today? I had, um, I had a nice chat with some buddies. Cool, I'd love to meet them sometime. Yeah, sometime. Um, anyways, which dress should I wear for the company event? I think that you should try them on for me. Oh, we're doing that. Now? Or I could try them on, cause you know, just for ha ha's. Roll up your socks, nigga. That dress looks beautiful on you. I do have to tell you something about the event tomorrow. And tell me Andrew Narfield. I still have two more to try on. Well, I guess I can help you get out of the first one then. areas because fade like fading in and out of scenes implies there's a passage of time so like what they oh we'll just kiss right here and then we're gonna kiss on the couch and now we're over here it's like okay 
Y'all do know sex exists, right? Sebastian Klein, I know your true identity. Or should I say Bash Myers? How did you find out? If you want to know, then come meet me at the Ritz-Carlton, room 808. This is kind of dumb because if you know someone's real identity and that their identity is linked to the Russian mafia and, cr and criminality, threats, violence, uh, y you know, you shouldn't do shit like this. You know what I mean? It's kind of dumb. You have 30 minutes. Should have kept the hair on your chest, bruh. <laughs> Can't stand it when niggas shave their chest and they don't have to. Sebastian? Sebastian, where are you? Lauren? Sebastian doesn't love you, Natalie. Now, Cassie, on the other hand, she was supposed to marry Sebastian in the first place. What the hell is this? <laughs> I love how she probably put some kind of like some shorts on under the under the underwear so she wouldn't have to show off too much of her ass. But it looks dumb. Like, why would you do that? What are you trying to say? Get a divorce. And get lost. <laughs> I don't know why you would trust her when she, <laughs> she just try almost tried to fuck you over with money that you needed for your mom's chemo or whatever. Why would you even trust? Why would you take her word for any of this shit? She just kind of like spelled it out for you. For, uh, oh, excuse me. She kind of just spelled out why you shouldn't trust her. Oh, my daughter was really going to marry this fool. Um... And now, oh look, like now you have a reason to not be married to him. Also, I'm a bitch. Like, why are you listening to her? Natalie, I tried to call you like a hundred times. Where have you been? Hello? You gonna talk to me? What's going on? Get out of the way, Sebastian. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, just talk to me for a second. What's going on? I'll have my lawyer send you the divorce papers, sign them, and we'll go our separate ways. Wait, wait, hold on. Talk to me, okay? What's what's going on? Look, if it's about last night, I can explain. I mean, some things happen. What is there to explain? I mean, he's clearly not conscious in that picture where she's next to him in bed. Like, it's not even like, I mean, I wouldn't trust, like I said, I wouldn't trust that shit. That, that was a setup, okay? Your sister called me last night to meet her at a hotel to talk. She drugs my drink and I wake up and I call yep. you. And you didn't answer. I know. So what? Like, so like, what's gonna happen now? Like, you're gonna, are you gonna listen and learn that, oh yeah, my stepmother uh, was setting me up. For our marriage to fail. Like, are you gonna take some hints here? I'm not stupid. I know no, you're Cassie is capable. You are stupid if you believe this. You you are stupid. Of that horrendous mother of hers. But I also know that Cassie and Lauren wouldn't be doing this unless they found out something about you that they didn't know before. What? What? <laughs> what? Oh. No, you dummy. That's not how this works. I was root. We were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. <laughs> so I put one and one together. Why my mom's medical bills got paid. Why I suddenly got accepted to BM Enterprise. I mean, to be fair, you should have you should have been putting you should have been following the breadcrumbs the entire time. I don't know why you hadn't been. <laughs> it was pretty fucking obvious. Oh. <sighs> Why are you were in Daniel's office the other day? Oh, in this house? This house is your biggest giveaway. I looked it up. It belongs to Sebastian Klein. Okay, but like, that doesn't excuse anything that your stepmother did. Like, nothing. 
They had, I, they had to throw that shit in there because the stepmother simply telling her, oh, he's been lying. He's actually a rich guy. <laughs> Who's all, who's a criminal, but you already knew that because you knew he was in prison. It's like when you got married, so we can't really, so he's already a criminal. So we can't really use that as some kind of like, as some kind of gotcha for his character. So we got to make up, some, so we got to put in some other bullshit where they lure him to a hotel room and drug him to pad it out a little bit, but, but it doesn't work. The fuck? Oh, damn. This is, this is shit. Or should I call you Bash Myers? Hey, mom. Her mother shouldn't be fat. I'm How are you just, feeling? If she's been in a hospital bed, getting chemo treatments, and just like just been sitting, like she shouldn't be fat. Hey, sweetheart. How's your new job? Good. It's good. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna work there anymore. Why? You don't like it? No, it's it's not that. I just I think I'm gonna go back to school. Zai, uh, Zaimoku, no empathy for her husband being drugged and assaulted though. No. <laughs> hey, honey. Clearly not. Have the volume for the TV. <laughs> Breaking news, in a corporate coup d'etat, Sebastian Klein, the illegitimate son of the Klein family, has taken over as the biggest shareholder. Seemingly overnight, the entire Klein enterprise is now under new leadership. Furthermore, stock prices have soared 32% as Sebastian Klein steps into the light and is revealed to be none other than Bash Myers himself. Looks like that sweet boy finally accomplished what he set out to do. How do you know him? Get right! Of course. He's her husband. When were you going to tell me? Wait, how Natalie? does she know that? In life, huh? we all keep secrets. Sometimes we have them because we want to protect our loved ones. Just like how you didn't want to tell me about your marriage to Sebastian. He came to visit me in the hospital. Oh. He told me he will make you the happiest girl in the world. But he has something to do for his mother first. Her name is Stephanie Myers. And Stephanie he Myers? This, he told me he'll give you a real wedding and a real home. He's a good boy, Natalie. He has the weight of the world on his shoulders. He just needs a little bit of love. Ma'am? Oh. Ma'am? Oh, uh, Ma'am, you're interrupting me looking like Gollum and Adrian Brody. <laughs> Are you ready to go? Uh, oh, Jesus. yeah. Natalie, Natalie, wait, 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 come on. P please don't go, okay? Look, I am sorry that I didn't tell you the truth sooner, but I tried to tell you so many times. I mean, okay, if your but dying mother is telling you to take the dick, just take the dick. <laughs> just do it. I don't know, I was just scared. All right, and look, when my mom died, all I ever wanted to do, I just wanted to take back Klein Enterprises. And I did, I did everything according to plan. Julie Except Marie, little Stephanie Myers, like the Twilight author. I'm willing to bet that that's, that's, what, that's who they named her after. It's gotta be, that's too much of a fucking coincidence. For you, because you weren't a part of my plans, Natalie. But you're the best goddamn thing that's ever happened to me. So, can can you just give me a second chance? Can we? I don't know. Can we just start over? Sebastian, hold that thought. Ah, uh, let me guess. You are not leaving anymore. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sebastian, I just I what? don't know. Come on, this is the third time in a month. <laughs> People really need to stop doing this dramatic, romantic shit. Do you know how cliche this is every time it's like, at the airport or at the uh, train station, I love you this, I love you that. Um, okay, that was kind of fun. Let's get back together. 
Christmas bullshit. No! 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 You, what the hell is... You can't just start a scene like this. Can't do this to me. No! That's a coffee table! Mr. Quinn, per our agreement, since you didn't pay us back in time, we will be taking the house and everything of value. <gasps> George, do something! Where are we gonna live? Get off me, woman! This is all your fault. Me, woman? I never should have married you. I want a divorce. <gasps> have a good day, Mr. Quinn. <gasps> <laughs> divorce repulses me, I'm leaving. <laughs> the fuck? So, shit just happened. Are you ready to marry me for real this time? In a this worse time, wedding dress? I'm marrying Bash Myers. So it just ends like that? Okay. Um, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, that was terrible. Like, all, all these real short movies are terrible but at least the relationship like because you thought oh this is gonna be skeevy and perverted the whole way through because it's an arranged marriage plot but it wasn't it was actually okay was like, yeah. they kind of fell into the whole romantic thing kind of quick but it you know it's it's real short it's they're short so shit's gonna be short and it's gonna be rushed because the writing is shit finn bar hooli five dollar super chat you need to deploy Carl to teach these people how to write. <laughs> I do. Uh, but yeah. It's, it's so fucked up how this relationship is more um, stable than anything we've seen in a lot of media, like in Netflix movies and shit. Like, it's, it's that, that's sad. It's some sad, it's a, that is a sad ass development. Uh, yeah. You kind of get into the relationship a little bit, a little, just a little bit, you know. The writing is still shit, but you know, you're like, okay, yeah, okay, I can, I can kind of get comfortable with this. It's not like I said, it's not skeevy or perverted, like 365 days or no shit like that. So, Bone Saw is ready. What else, Super Chat? I hate to admit it. I actually kind of cared about the couple, despite how terrible the whole thing was. Reminded me of early 2000s rom coms. True. You know, minus the arranged marriage thing. <laughs> I we're gonna watch True Luna or wait, hold on. Let's see what else they got. Never divorce a secret billionaire heiress. Fatal attraction. The hi hi hybrid princess. And we already know the faded alpha. We've seen that shit. Goodbye, my CEO. There's so many, so many bangers here. Love, love me, bite me. The fuck? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Let, hold on. Let's take. Let's check this out right quick. I just want to see. Haunted by a dream. Then a man calls out my name. Rosalie. <laughs> no. That motherfucker looks like a hunky Dave Lando. <laughs> <Where's the light? laughs> so <da> No, no, he's got his forehead's too big for that. Dangerous out here for a human like you. This is gonna be so cringe. I'm here for it. <laughs> Stay away from them. Oh damn! has pork pork rind skin <laughs> wow holy shit all until i find out who she is i need you to come with me i'll go with you you teach me teach you what how to kill vampires gotta... yeah <laughs> <laughs> Biggest fear. I think you know what that is. I will kill them most! Oh my god, this is gonna be Liddy! 
<laughs> yeah, don't give me no well-adjusted shit like that last movie. Give me something terrible, like truly 100% terrible. What do you have against Rosalie? <laughs> what the hell is that? Like, you wearing a what? <laughs> Wife beater with a Dracula cape? What the fuck? And his name's Creon? Is that what that is? Oh. I'm I know I'm gonna love this. It's all over the place. That's enough. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna pause it right quick because I have uh, this is a quick intermission. Cause I have to do something right quick. Um uh, Wait, let me, shit. Back to where I had it. Okay, like, yeah, a brief intermission. I will be right.
Okay, we are back. <laughs> Wanted to heat up a little shrinking <laughs> because I want to be fully fed for this. Don't worry, you're not going to hear any smacking noises because I will mute every time I take a bite or something. <laughs> but let's just, oh, bites, bite. <laughs> I can tell this is going to be a banger. This is going to be pure, unadulterated comedy, this one. Let's go. I've been haunted by a dream. I dream of myself. I dream in I'm in real time, short videos. <laughs> this is a story of love that triumphs despite tragedy and prejudice. A time of innocence and peace. Innocence fleeting, peace short lived. some awfully clean village <laughs> like village and warehouse at <laughs> a sale I dream of a man Rosalie he screams Rosalie <coughs> where'd you put my floby <laughs> Where the fuck did you get the lettuce? <laughs> I threw lettuce at this. Wait, go back. <laughs> they were throwing lettuce at this bitch. Look. <laughs> Before that, they threw beets because she's <laughs> got beet juice all over. <laughs> oh, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Nathan Pattinson, 199 Super Chat, you are one of God's greatest gifts to the internet, Jay. Oh, thank you. Silence! Silence! Oh, is that crater face? Sinner! Jesus! She has lain with a vampire! She's a fang banger! <laughs> if y'all remember uh, True Blood. Oh, remember? Repent and beg God that he may burn your sin like we will burn your body! Burn, sinner! Burn your sin like we will burn your body! This dude definitely used to have a hairband back in the day. Burn your sin like we will burn your body! <laughs> Also, that's CGI fire. Come on, bro. Look at that! Back, I don't know why you couldn't use fire for the close-up shots. And then use CGI when you set something on fire. Or use practical fire in one shot. In all the shots where the woman is not visible so she won't accidentally catch on fire. What what facial expression is that? <laughs> like what is that? Is that acceptance? Vengeance? Like you're pleased with yourself because you know he's gonna get his? Uh what is that? The fear? What is it? Snap out of it. Unless you want some help with that. I can let out some blood. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know how important today is. What are you doing to me? Yeah, 
I got it. Give me a minute. Joy! Let me taste that. To the world, the Lord has come. This tastes like shit. Are you fucking with me? Or are you just dumb? I I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean Cassandra, to. Cassandra, leave her be. That is such a Generation Hope premise. And extra points because she's black. <laughs> I will help make the- My evil vampire boss called me the N-word. Tricks. <laughs> they better taste pure, or I'll make your life a frothy fucking hell, human. A frothy hell? Is hell known for being frothy? Frothy, bold, and with a, <laughs> with a, um, no, frothy, smooth, with a rich, bold taste. <laughs> Look, don't worry about her. It's her hundredth year of menopause. Can't be easy. Her hundredth year of menopause. Vampires can't get menopause. But all right. The joke doesn't even work because you know vampires don't get menopause because they don't age. How are you doing on rent, by the way? I'm short. Jack Diamond, N word, Nosferatu? <laughs> Come on, this drink's. And what? A vampire celebrating Christmas? Okay. They make themselves. <laughs> I'm not afraid of Cassandra. Then again, she has her own business, and you know, it would make sense. Vampire, she may be, but we serve the same masters, the same monsters. Every decade. Wait, or is that a vampire bar? What? The most powerful vampire covens gather at Club Dracula to renew the. Club Dracula? Come on, bro. <laughs> it's Club Dracula. <laughs> Tonight, Ulrich Tepes, the most powerful leader of the West Coast Coven. What? Every decade, the most powerful vampire covens gather at Club Dracula to renew the peace treaty. Tonight, Ulrich Tepes. Ulrich Tepes. And his Tepish. Not Tepes. Not how you pronounce that. At least I don't like, think that's how you pronounce that. But that's all, that's, that's um, connected to uh, Vlad the Impaler somehow. I think that's Vlad the Impaler's name. Like his his name name, I think. Like the, his last name. Um, I think. Yeah, I'm totally spaced out on this shit. But like, yeah, that's definitely connected to Dracula. So Club Dracula, Tepish. Like y'all laid it on thick. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Like, like slow down. This, the most powerful leader of the West Coast Coven, will be meeting with Victor Velda, head of the East Coast Coven. Yeah, that's a vamp. <laughs> no. Oh, he's totally not like a, like some CEO. A, <laughs> he's not the CEO of a company in in Arizona who's a, also a gym rat. No, he's a vampire. <laughs> My parents died of their bloodthirst. Now I have to serve them to survive. They laughed and jeered like men. But that is one thing they are not. Victor Velda. I should avert my gaze. But I am not afraid. Vinny Ladders, Jimmy Tepish. <laughs> Jack Diamond, oh no, frat pyres. <laughs> you don't know. You don't. Okay, this is what you have to interview a bunch of, yeah, fr frat vampires? We're the strippers. <laughs> We're the hookers. You know damn well that that would be adequate entertainment for, for creatures of the night. But we you know whatever, whatever. Mars. Oh boy, a strong female lead. Yeah, and those fangs poke out of your mouth like the like the way that pokes out just looks silly. Vampires can dress. What the fuck is up with that tie? That tie is whack. Nice voice. You look at that tie. That's ugly as hell. How is somebody like you? And it doesn't even match with what the fuck he is wearing. 
Oh, like, oh. Not bonded. You just smell. I love how bro's like, yeah, you got a point. <laughs> Bitch ain't bonded, you know. These 304s today, they don't like to be bonded to a real nigga. <laughs> oh, good. You know, it's so dangerous out here for a human like you. Dude, your haircut does, like, come on. <laughs> I've, I don't, I'm not convinced that you've ever seen a castle before. You know what I mean? You look like the only thing you've ever seen is either the inside of a gym or, or a bar where they specialize in craft beer. I don't believe that you're a vampire. Without vampire protection. That's the same shot, bro. <laughs> Either that, he, or he is the most, like, generic actor. He does the same shit after every line. And maybe you'll like him. You know what I enjoy? Amazing vamps who don't know how to keep their hands to themselves. You can't, he's, well, she might have garlic mace, I guess. But yeah, if you're talking about regular mace, that's not gonna work. <laughs> you wouldn't. Ah! <laughs> oh shit! Hands to themselves. <laughs> Those are the most. Oh my god! Those hold on, ruin that. Those are the most Halloween store teeth I have ever seen. You know what I enjoy? Oh, yeah, we got. Oh, look at that! That is true. Hold on, no, we'll These get a better look at it. They don't know how to keep their hands to themselves. Look at that. Come on, bro. <laughs> the teeth I wore in the second part of my Dracula video, those were way more believable than this shit. And I got them, mine from a Halloween store. But what the fuck is this, is this? This looks like some shit I wore when I was a kid. Like those plastic, those really plastic vampire teeth that just like, that you just like set in your mouth. <laughs> and they look unrealistic as hell because you can tell they are plastic, like, like just pure white plastic. That's what that looks like. <laughs> you wouldn't. <laughs> Bust nut. Was this movie filmed from an iPhone? Probably. I mean, to be fair, they did create this specifically for the internet, so. <laughs> Garlic spray? <laughs> Garlic spray? Wait. You wouldn't. That I want to cap with that whole scene. That was funny. Ah! Oh shit! <laughs> Garlic spray? <laughs> but no, I want one where his mouth is open. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you wouldn't. Ah! Oh shit! <laughs> Garlic spray? <laughs> yes. Damn it, damn it. I'll settle for that. Son of a bitch, come on. Oh, that, yeah, that's perfect. With the caption and everything, that's hilarious. <laughs> Garlic spray! <laughs> you fucking bitch! <laughs> I think he's killer for that, but you know. Could it be? Is that Rosalie? So that's a large V Tepish. My Rosalie. Will she recognize my 10 gallon hat? That must be Auric Tepes, leader of the West Coast Coven. What's your name? You can tell he's from the West because he's got a cowboy hat. He looks 
Sammy. He looks really familiar. You're Mr. Tempest? Where... Tempest, damn it! Where could I have seen him before? Sorry, God. Excuse me. She doesn't know. Oh, too chilly. <laughs> Dave Filoni Jr. <laughs> Pretty sure they either saw, heard, or smelled you by now. Get the fuck out of here. Finbar Hooli, five dollars super chat. This is making me uh, miss Claudia from AMC's interview with the vampire, and even watching Louis whining was less cringe. Sir, this is the first meeting representing your family. Your father won't be happy, or Mr. Tempest. Fuck Alric. Tempest came all the way from New York. These West Coast vampires, they can wait. You smell you sniffing a rat like you're a werewolf when you're a vampire. Second of all, that performance is whack. Oh. I don't know about you, but I suddenly feel like a drink. Girl like you should have wandered around at night without a bond. Get away from me, you blood clot. Too bad. Did he call <laughs> what? Did she call him a, bl a blood clot? What? That would be a suitable name for you from him. They're not the other way around. That doesn't even make sense. Don't know how sweet you smell. Like honey in an ancient cave. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> this fucking dialogue and shit. You, 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 you have no idea how sweet you smell. Like honey in an ancient cave. Something about like the the black mold and moisture in a cave that just makes the honey all the sweeter. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I told y'all this was gonna be lit. Get around at night without a bond. Get away from me, you blood clot. Too bad you don't know how sweet you smell. Like honey in an ancient cave. <laughs> Wait a minute, I gotta get the, I'm gonna cap this dialogue. This is funny. I, I, I gotta Twitter this right quick. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, God damn it. Fuck you. Wandered around at night without a bond. Get away from me, you blood clot. Too bad you don't know how sweet you smell. Like honey in an ancient cave. Or deep in the dark ocean. Or, or deep in a du hold on. This is this is getting complicated. Too bad you don't know how sweet you smell. God damn like it. Like honey in an ancient cave. Uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, <laughs> darling. You really think a little toy like that can hurt me? Guess we'll find out. Mm. Ah! Hey, wait a minute. Oh, I think I went too far. Did, did I? Yeah, I did. Hang on. Girl, like you should have wandered around at night without a bond. Get away from me, you blood clot. Too bad you don't know how sweet you smell. God damn it! Like it's so hard to get a damn cap. Deep bond. Get away from me, you. I uh, miss you too. Too bad you don't know how sweet you smell. <sighs> like honey in an ancient cave. I'm sorry, this is gonna be a while, guys. Jesus. Bond. Get away from me, you blood clot. Too bad you don't know how sweet you smell. Like honey in an ancient cave. That that dialogue is hilarious. Dark. 
Uh, hang on a second. Hold on, because I don't want people to see my Twitter. <laughs> Hold on, I just want to, you know, put this out here on Twitter right quick. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. <laughs> Like honey in an HK. We're trying to make our dialogue sound like, oh, it's like very vampire-y. So what what do we want him to say? Oh, like uh, like your blood is sweet like honey in an ancient cave. Like what the fuck? What does that mean? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> what does it mean? Oh, okay. Alright. I gotta get the third one. Hang on, hang on. Get away from me, you blood clot. Too bad you don't know how sweet you smell. Like honey in an ancient cave. Deep in the dark I hate ocean. this. Blood clot. Too bad you don't know how sweet you smell. Like honey in an ancient cave. Deep in the dark ocean. A thousand lives. Jesus, finally. <laughs> okay, okay, that's been Twittered. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Now we can enjoy the crappy dialogue together. Oh, Jesus. So terrible. <laughs> like honey in an ancient cave. Deep in the dark ocean. A thousand lives. Uh, you smell like a, the deep dark ocean, honey in an ancient cave. What the fuck? There we Ooh. I already know they stole this from True Blood, right? Because they were like, I think it was from season two. No, not season two. Whatever. It was like I think Eric was telling Sookie that her blood uh, that her blood tastes like honey and wheats. And then there was another time where Sookie said that his it sounds silly, but like she said, uh, he smelled like the ocean in winter because she was like recalling his memories of when he was a kid. And like, it's just, I don't know, it's a little too similar to True Blood. I'm just saying, there's, there's probably going to be some rip-offage here. Oh, darling. Darling. You really think a little toy like that can hurt me? Guess we'll find out. Mm. Ah! Mars. Genuine question, is True Blood good? Um, that depends. On your uh, estimation of good. <laughs> I mean, the first couple seasons, like, Sookie is annoying. She wasn't as annoying as I find her. Like, when I first saw the show, I didn't think she was that annoying. And then I, like, recalled the show later on in life, and I'm like, oh, yeah, this bitch is annoying. <laughs> like, if you can stand her, then you could probably get through the show. If you can't, then you're probably, yeah, you're probably, like, you're probably not going to get through it. What? So, like, why do they sprout fire when they heal? Huh? Isn't that supposed to be the other way around? Only the most important meeting between our families, and he's making me wait. On purpose. Uh, sir, uh, he had a situation. Sir, he had a situation. <laughs> Bitch. Girl, what are you doing? No, she shouldn't be able to do that unless she's a vampire as well. But I don't think she is, so... 
the fact that you're overpowering a vampire with a pair of mannequin legs. That is dumb. What are you doing? <laughs> this motherfucker is gulping. <laughs> This motherfucker is gulping down a grimace shake. <laughs> Let's go back and listen to that again. Look at those gulps, god damn! Your blood, I'm gonna keep you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Rick, supposed to be the baddest on the West Coast. Let's see what you <laughs> supposed to be the baddest on the and why his his performance is something of legend, like He's got his arms stock straight, un completely unmoving at his sides. Why? Your performance is already over the top. You might as well move your arms around. Like really get th uh, theatrical. But, uh -huh. Got Sonny boy. Uh. That is so dumb. You stay away from her. Some peacemaker you are. You just made an enemy. Fuck off. I also made some peace because you ain't uh, chomping on this girl no more, so. to a hospital? I knew this human was trouble. <laughs> yeah, I'm here too. What's your blood supply? She needs typo. Uh, sir, I, uh, I'm all out of real blood. <laughs> <laughs> He's sniffing. He's sniffing. You know, I'll give it to him. At least they did. That's some edit, like it's an editing trick. Him zipping from one place to another. At least they didn't try to do some kind of like stupid effects where you can like he's trailing across the room and shit, and it just looks ugly. Like they they instead they just did an editing trick. That's pretty good. Okay, that's all right. And they did it again. Okay. No, it's just that I, 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 you're fired. Sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. If you lost a lot of blood, you should you should rest. Uh, here, drink some water. <laughs> You're hurt. You're in danger, Sammy. You're not bonded, which means Victor can and will get his hands on you. I need you to come with me, okay? Is that a question or a command? Look, I can protect you. I am grateful for all your help, Mr. Tempest. And I am perfectly fine on my own. Union Station, please. Excuse me? Union Station, please.
I'm a vampire out in the day. <laughs> I can't wait to see you again. <laughs> oh my god, those fangs are so bad. Union Station, please. Oh my god, look at that shit. He's got no de his the definition of his upper teeth are gone. It's just like one tooth. <laughs> one tooth between two fangs. Look at that. This is so shit. <laughs> It's like they were in a hurry <clears throat> and they just made like, like they couldn't, like they ran out of, they ran out of budget, they ran out of their budget and just created some fucking teeth with some Elmer's glue <laughs> and froze it and was like, all like, right, look, put this, these glue fangs in your mouth before they melt. Like, all right, we got to get the scene done. <laughs> and the whole time he's just like, oh. Like you can taste the fucking Elmer's glue in his mouth. Master Victor can wait to see you. But his upper teeth don't have any definition. There's no, there's just, just one tooth. Yes. One big ass tooth. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, oh. Ah! Shit. You. Why is it always you every time? Hey, I told you that you were in trouble. You would have listened to me back at the bar. <clears throat> oh, damn. They just decapitated his ass. Okay. But that was the head of an Asian guy. Hey, I told you that you were in trouble. You would have listened to me back at the bar. Yeah, that's an Asian guy's head. <laughs> that's an Asian guy's head. That's not, that's not a Russian vampire head. Don't worry about him. He was a scumbag. Look, you need to come with me. Now. He only had one tooth in his and upper teeth. Why should I trust you? All vampires are the same. Victor's gonna hunt you down. It doesn't matter where you go. He's gonna find you. Is that what you want? Where are you gonna go anyway, huh? I have friends. Who? Out people. Where? Georgia. Georgia. Look, I'm just fucking tired of everyone trying to save me all the time, okay? <laughs> But you clearly need to be saved. Like, you, you bitch, you almost died yesterday. What a little, oh, God, we got the strong, independent woman bullshit. I'm just a human in a world full of vampires. Which is why you would need protection, dummy. Georgia. Look, I'm just fucking tired of everyone trying to save me all the time, okay? I, I am a lonely human, and I work at a bar. I don't have any special skills. The only thing I know to make is a bloody cocktail. Never went to college. I'll I couldn't even I couldn't even learn anything on Skillshare. Teach me. <laughs> How to kill vampires. Like you. You wanna learn how to kill vampires? Well, I'm not a vampire killer, I'm just a vampire who's good at killing other vampires because I'm a vampire. Not the same thing. You're not leaving my side. You got that? Please don't ask me any questions. That's some really those are some really obnoxious noises you're making. Yikes. Look at you. What the fuck? Tone it down, my dude. Also, his name is Creon Velda. Okay. Look at you. And embarrassing. Good to see you too, Father. Everyone is talking about your fight with Alaric. What were you thinking? I didn't do anything. Why does he need a bandage? He's a vampire. Didn't he heal immediately? 
after after he got after he got his shit rocked by Alaric, why is he wearing a bandage? You saw me with this girl. That's it. Uh, what girl? I don't know. You smell like Paco Rabanne. I thought we were past this. <laughs> You're addicted? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. To what? Blood? Like, you're all addic technically addicted to blood. Who is she? Where is she? I don't know. She's just some bartender. Addiction is a weakness, Victor. You can hunt all you want, but you stay away from that girl until I find out who she is. Do you understand? Yes, Father. Get the pig! My son is hungry! A pig? I mean... Ain't y'all supposed to be evil vampires? Why aren't, why aren't you eating humans? Oh, yeah. oh he's talking about a person. Okay. <laughs> he was talking about a person. All right. Oh, it's meant to be derogatory. Sir, it's Leon, sir. He's been killed. Could you? You didn't get any of that in your mouth. <laughs> and the girl's missing. Thalric. This is utter trash, and I love it. <laughs> Here, you can stay at my my huh. my very southern and outdoorsy <laughs> safe house. It's also very sensual, in case you want to get sexual. You are meeting all of my expectations. Where do you see your room? This is you. What is this place? I just... I'm up here to think. Some baggy ass pants she got on. <laughs> you don't like it? No, I do. It just sort of got to get used to uh, being in prison, but not really in a strange mansion. <laughs> look, I'm sorry that it has to be this way. Whatever. Look, I know you're trying to help me, but. Look, I have something for you. I know you're trying to help me, but you really need to get rid of the Wolverine leather jacket you're wearing. It's so played out. The heart of the ocean. Oh, getting weirder. Look, I don't need your protection. I don't want to be bonded. And you won't be. Unless you offer me your blood voluntarily. Plus, I went synthetic a long time ago. This is... Oh, you went synthetic? Because that's not a true blood. Uh, that's not from true blood either. I went synthetic. This is just symbolic, so others believe that you can't be touched. Will you please, Sammy? Spicy McTwisted. The fact that vampires can exist in the daytime makes this show even more unbelievable to me. Yeah, I hate, I hate that trope. Why did it have to be around in the day? Can you love me, please? <laughs> you okay, Mr. Tepish? Tepish. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you get some rest. And please call me Ulrich. Because you keep mispronouncing Tepish and it's pissing me off. <laughs> Lucy! Lucy! Come over here. Who do you think you are? Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, you let it get cold. You have it. I you never let beet juice it. get cold. Please. Why not? It's your blood. Do as I say, Lucy. Last time I checked, you're still my human. Stop! Oh no, she's gonna go super save a hoe. You must be Ulrich's human. I'm no one's human. So what, you're staying here now? Wasn't exactly my idea. Great. A new housemate without anyone's consent. You're on dish duty. <laughs> he is literally me. <laughs> but I really do dishes. Are you okay? Yeah, sure, fine. Um, it's not what it looks like. I'm Sammy. Lucy. So, uh, what is ready? ready? Five dollars super chat. There are just people with pointy. They're just pe these are just people with pointy teeth in the same way that the elves and the rings of power are just humans with pointy ears. No one's human. That's a long story. I met that girl you adopted. Listen, Ulrich, I, I get why you care about her. Again and again. Mm, do you? Again, but Rosalie is. Oh, never. Oh, <laughs> uh, never mind. Uh, he, he's talking about the Rosalie debacle. Okay. Let's rewind that. That was hilarious. Listen, Ulrich, I, I get why you care about her. Again and again, but Rosalie is. <laughs> You were not holding him up, dude. <laughs> you were not. He's standing on his goddamn tippy toes. <laughs> you mention her name again, and I swear I will kill you. You've been down this path before. We both know how it ends. <laughs> this motherfucker got a jawline on him. God damn. <sighs> You can't Never seen a jaw so fucking wide that it's like two inches away from the neck. <laughs> it's two inches like hovering above the neck. That's a, that's be with her and you know that's a dynamic draw. <sighs> you can't be with her and you know it. You should be with me. <laughs> Uh, another Zelda fan. Hello. How you doing? Mars, I'll give the re I'll give real short this. The male actors are good man candy. Not all of them. I mean, they pass the test of not all being twinks. <laughs> Unlike Hollywood where they, they they just put any motherfucker in front of the camera. <laughs> Careful. Don't spook me like that, because I, I could have dropped it. I'm sure it was. That's what you came looking for? 1945. Good taste. Yeah, I was just trying to find some normalcy in your ancient freaky house, and instead I find more mysteries. Well, I'm an open book. Like where like the to toilet know? paper is? That's very mysterious. Okay. Were you a sailor or something? Hmm. Over the years, I've traveled the world. Every continent, every corner. And these are the models of the ships that I was on. So you have just traveled the world and you've just seen- Okay, he did build those himself, right? I'm guessing. Everything. How do you remember it all? I mean, what drives you? I was looking for someone. Hmm. And did you find them? I think I did. Oh, I thought he would say, did well, you find them? hold on, we might hear it. Oh, he just didn't answer. Fuck! That is so good. Right. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah. But all I have left are these cobweb ships to mark the time, not people. Must be pretty lonely. 
you know, the whole living forever thing. Only when you know who isn't with you. Come on. Mm -hmm. That is so good. Right? <laughs> that is I don't know what the hell he just said, because that sounded dumb. <laughs> But all I have left are these cobweb ships to mark the time, not people. Must be pretty lonely. You know, the whole living forever thing. Only when you know who isn't with you. Come on. Eh, kind of clunky. How much has the world changed? You know, not much, honestly. I mean, sure, there's been advancements in technologies. But you know the one thing that stays the same no matter which century you're in? People. What? It's human nature. Yeah, close enough. Also, I was right. <laughs> so power hungry and so greedy all the time. I mean, we're, we're causing climate change. We're destroying the air. Oh, God. Shut up. <laughs> oh, shut up. Oh, you're a vampire. You should know better. <laughs> in the name of progress. You think so highly of humans. And vampires alike. I'm not excluding myself. I was just joking. So, uh, what kind of wine did you say this was? That? That's... It's not wine, it's vintage blood. Oh. Ew, what the fuck? <laughs> what the heck? What an asshole! Wait, wait a minute, what? So, uh, what kind of wine did you say this was? That? That's... It's not wine, it's vintage blood. Oh. Ew, what the fuck? Was just playing. Oh. Ew, what the fuck? You're feeding me blood? I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> and then the music started back up. <laughs> I would, you know what would have been great there? That, 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 oh, that might as well have been there like a record scratch. <laughs> or not. Very funny. Ah. Uh, who's that? That. Is my dad? That's my mom, and it's a little baby man. Oh uh, yeah, that looks exactly like your parents, and that baby looks exactly like you. So it's not some random historical picture, y'all. <laughs> y'all fucking bummed from like some random history book. Cute, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How old is this? This would have been 1682. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my parents um, died shortly after that painting in a war with the Valda family. When I came to power, I signed a peace treaty with Victor's father, Creon. I lost my parents when I was young. <laughs> Bones is ready. $2 super chat. I got that blood from Magic Johnson in the 90s. <laughs> Same as you. Sorry. You did a background check on me. Okay. Then I guess you know how my parents died. Yours died as martyrs. Mine died at the hands of a vampire. We are not the same and we never will be. I mean, you know, we relate to each other because both our parents, y'all, our parents died, not because the circumstances, you know, whatever, you're a bitch. <laughs> ah, here we go, this shit. <laughs> I'm going to suck your clit. Blah, blah. <laughs> Do it 
already, bro. You're taking too long for no reason. Stop with the gulping. That's ridiculous. Oh my god. It wasn't even necessary. Like, what was that? Old ass phone. What the fuck? I told you not to call unless it was life or death. <laughs> what is this? You'll want to hear this. This is perfect. Now the dead like has. Who is this? Fucking Father Sarducci looking ass nigga. <laughs> He looks like he's a chef at a high-end restaurant. Does after all they need? A fake a ass mustache. They won't see it coming. By the time we are done, vampires will no longer rule this world. Look at that fake ass mustache. Oh my god. We shall have our revenge. Sleep, I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> you could have shook me, nigga! <laughs> you threw water in my face! You're such a prick! <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you, uh, that's, that's, no. You deserve to get smacked for shit like that. <laughs> now I gotta go to bed on wet sheets, thank you! I hear someone calling for me, but. That's just funny. How do you just continue on with the dramatic scene? After that, that's hilarious. <laughs> you were crying in your sleep. I didn't know what else to do. Your face was raining, so I made it actually rain on your face. <laughs> but fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> Finbar Hooli. Five dollars super chat. Everyone knows Dracula don't suck. Dracula scrape and lick. Do you remember the grim adventures of Bill and Mandy? What the fuck? Me. Calling for her. Rosalie! It's your voice. We're Mormons. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't look authentic at all. It's the dream. Really doesn't sound like it. It doesn't mean anything. I get some rest. We begin training first thing in the morning. Training? We oh, it was right. And he's wearing silk pajama bottoms. Everybody's wearing silk pajama bottoms. Or everybody, no, everybody's wearing silk pajamas in these real shorts. What the fuck? You begin training first thing in the morning. I mean, uh, kind of ruins it when we can see your draws. So what, no guns? Well, as you know, you can't kill a vampire with conventional guns, but you can damage and wound with pure silver or spiked wood from Hoya trees in the Romanian forest. What about when vampires kill each other? Our wounds don't heal. We turn to ash. So you're really not afraid I'm gonna kill you? You trust me? Well, let's just say I don't like the current imbalance between humans and vampires. What about garlic? You afraid of it? No. I'm not afraid of garlic. It just 
hurts. Here, focus, okay? Let's give it a go. Okay. Wow. That is wow. terrible. So. Well, so's what your you're acting. Gonna Shut up. Is you're going to want to twist your hips as you thrust. That's going to give you so much more power. So, you twist right into it. Yeah, just like that. So, come on back. With one of your gangly you little twist. arms. <laughs> All right, now the main things to aim for, heart, obviously. The neck will kill a vampire instantly, but it is a more dangerous target since it's a little bit smaller. Get a few thrusts, let's see. Ebony Williams, so is Pretty Boy half vampire? No, he's full vampire. I know, yeah, you're probably asking that because he's out in the fucking daytime. Uh, no, this is just one of those cheap productions where, oh, oh it's one of those vampires were out in the day, but they're really just too cheap to film at night all the time. So they just... <laughs> Say the vampires are just vampires who can stand daylight. I don't know. Whatever. Almost. Come on. Gotta twist the hips. <laughs> oh, come on, bro. <laughs> natural yeah you almost killing me really turns me on <laughs> so you're really not afraid that i'm gonna kill you you gotta learn to protect yourself that's a risk i'm willing to take what aren't you telling me <laughs> <laughs> what are you not telling me I may have a bad acting reel <laughs> uploaded on YouTube. I'm not proud of it. <laughs> so that does actually look like a bad acting reel. So you're really not afraid that I'm gonna kill you? You gotta learn to protect yourself. That's a Wait, Mars, $5 super chat. Whoever dressed the woman in these real shorts needs to be fired, assuming they aren't slaves. Risk I'm willing to take. What aren't you telling me? Terrible. That's enough for today. No, you were gonna. Show I me. said that is enough. That is enough. Yeah, just twist your hips and then thrust. That's all we're gonna do today. Arrogant asshole. Now, does that make him arrogant? I mean, yeah, it was kind of dickish, but yeah. Um, you lost something. Okay, you can judge me all you want. <laughs> yeah, the the women in this, uh, in this movie, they don't dress as well as uh, the women did in my the double life of my billionaire husband. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, they look kind of trash. And this, the wardrobe is kind of trash in this one. Uh, Bumcrack Jones, $2 super chat. This is editing with a B. But at least I'm not looking over my shoulder my whole life. I'm safe. Yeah. I'm if safe. you think you're safe with Cedric, then we have different definitions. You don't know me. You're right, I don't. Sorry. Aren't the rules of bonding just sentient DLDO? I want to sniff your box, not answer personal questions. <laughs> hey. I mean, is it worth it? Yes. And sometimes, yes. If your vampire dies, you die. If you leave him for seven days, you die. Isn't what? <laughs> if you leave him for seven days, you die. Rewinds. What are these stupid ass rules? Aren't the rules of bonding just risky? I mean, is it worth it? Yes. And sometimes yes. If your vampire dies, you die. If you leave him for seven days, you die. What? Like, what is the bond?
bonding process? Like, don't you just drink their bl his blood sometimes? Or doesn't he, like, just drink your blood sometimes? What the fuck is this shit? If your vampire dies, you die. What? Why? <laughs> that don't make no sense. Oh, Finbar Huli, fight all the Jack. Come on, Jay. He hasn't even taught her how to twist and gut. How will she defeat the vampiric ice troll and create gifts for her vampire hunters? Isn't there a way to break the bond? Yeah, you have to do the ritual in reverse. You give him the necklace while he offers you his blood. I just can't see a world where Cedric does that. Well, that's fair. It's never been about fair between humans and vampires. It's about- So, so all you do is drink his blood and if he dies, you die? That's, that sounds like some bullshit. That doesn't make any sense. Survival. Look, I know you don't believe in the bond, but what hurts you? May also protect you. That's a good lesson. <laughs> That's a good lesson. For the teen girls watching this shit. What what hurts you could also help you. <clears throat> what the fuck? Pretty sure the ground should be shaking after some shit like that. They growl and sniff like werewolves. I found this in the debris near where the bomb was placed. It's a message from your favorite vampire. The Volders. Creon wouldn't want this. Must be the Volders. They created every vending machine. In the t they created every. They say no. They invent. They're the family that invented vending machines. Because that ring looks like it came from a fucking vending machine. That doesn't matter. This is war, Ulrich. No. This is war. No, I've worked too hard to maintain this peace. There's been too much loss already. We will not retaliate. That's bullshit. Why are you wearing a bandage? You're a vampire. Shit. We have to do something. Barrier. We have to do something. Or I'll bury it for you. Wait, wait, what do you say? Not retaliate. That's bullshit. We have to do something. Barrier rage, Cedric. Or I'll bury it for you. Like, you're trying to sound deep and it's just not working. I'm, just, I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is vampire dialogue. Burial rage. You? When I heard I'll the explosion, I thought you were hurt or dead. What would I do without you? I was in the garden with <laughs> What would I do without that you? woman is. We are on the verge of war because of her. War. Stay away from her. Yes, Cedric. Ulrich won't fight. That doesn't stop you, does it? I just wanted to check in and say thanks. Uh, you were just blown Sam, up, dude. <laughs> Sam, what's going hey, on? I just wanted to come in. So you just Please got blown up. I didn't ask to be a part of any of this, and I am not some trophy to be fought over. <laughs> I wouldn't <have> said that. <laughs> you, 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 you start talking about trophies and shit. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Uh, Finbar, Huli, five dollars. And plus, you think very highly of yourself. Uh, Finbar Huli, $5 super chat, one vending machine to rule them all, one vending machine to find them, one vending machine to bring them all and <laughs> to bring them all and in the darkness behind them. All vampires are the same. They take blood, power, and human lives. 
Red Rose Spark. Stay away from her. She's a Mary Sue. Let me go. I can't. <laughs> oh, that face. Dude, your eyeballs. When they're open, they're wide open. You might want to just bring it down a little bit. <laughs> An untuned piano can really ruin a scene. <laughs> What are you gonna do? Suck on her knee? Please. No. Oh god, you're terrible, terrible teeth. Oh, okay, wait, 38. I need to go back and really look at this. Oh. I wanna look at his teeth. I wanna see if he's got the same problem as the last guy. Now it's got some definition. They still look like fucking Halloween teeth though. Look at that! That is so cheap! I you know what? I still have those fucking te vampire teeth that I used in that video. But now, I, I, yeah, I, I put them somewhere. I put them up somewhere and I'm not trying to dig them out. But yeah, look at this. This is so ugly. <laughs> that is so cheap. Don't move, Sammy. Please, don't move. My God. What what is what 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 what? <laughs> what you doing? Please don't leave me again. Black superwoman party party city fangs. Four walls, so we hung up curtains. <laughs> they found the button. It's working. Not fast enough. Just give it time. Oh, that what? fake mustache! You can see the. Oh my god! She doesn't deserve to die. Hang on, hang on, hang they on. Found hang the on. button. It's working. Not fast enough. Oh my god! You can see where it's glued. You can see the <laughs> fucking edge. <laughs> mustache. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Just give it time. No. You need to use the girl's bait. She doesn't deserve to die for the cause. There are bound to be casualties. You know this. Get to it. GC, don't leave me. Okay, runs. <laughs> I have something for you. It's an, oh, oh, I was gonna say it's a Never been gifted a dildo. chopstick before. That's new. It's uh, for your hair. It's made from Hoya wood. Not sure if you'll need it, but just in case. Yeah, mm, yeah, she's gonna need it. It's, it, yeah. It's, uh, what the fuck you call, what's the word, for, what's the terminology for that? Um, I forgot, like, a, Deus X hairpin. I don't know. <laughs> Try it on. <laughs> it looks good on you. <laughs> oh my god! The fake. I'm not. Pa yeah, I just. It's fucking hot. I'm not gonna pause this nigga again because this. you can tell. Just it. That fucking fake it. I just can't. I'm just baffled by that. I'm sorry. So Steve I can't help it. This is the toxins you've accumulated. Oh, essentially, he's a drink. He's a nasty human. It's worth This what wouldn't work on him. He's a vampire. He ain't got no toxins because he's a vampire. Every toxin. I can't stand that synthetic shit. 
What kind of clients frequent this beauty business? Don't worry, Victor. Mr. Tapas is not a customer. You and me, we have a common enemy. Ebony Williams, no, vampires in a sauna. Why not? For my funds, I do my best to give them what they want. And what do you want? Like, they don't I even don't sweat. That's the, thing. <laughs> That's the thing that pisses me off the most. Tapas. They do not sweat. Why the fuck are they in there? <laughs> What's the other? A fucking good show. <laughs> A fucking good show. Deal. Uh, Monster Mangler, this is our vampires are different. <laughs> Where's my drink? Uh, coming. Now rub oil on my chest. <laughs> He shouldn't be sleeping, and he definitely shouldn't be snoring. <sighs> How did you get in here? How'd you get in the house? I guess it's implied that Chick let him in. Why is she able to outsmart him and overpower him? And why is she faster than him? She should not have been able to do that. Stunned by a blanket. Jesus Christ. Your teeth are crooked. <laughs> like the eye effects are okay, but his teeth are crooked. I saw him move when he came up. Oh, oh wait, hang on a second. I gotta turn it down. This light, it's starting to bug me. This nigga's teeth are crooked. When it goes down to three. Okay, well, yeah, that's fine. Whatever, good enough. <laughs> yep, his teeth are crooked. His teeth are fucking crooked. But and his eyes are glowing like a werewolf when they should not be glowing like that. Yeah, whatever. Just whatever. <laughs> Oh, your teeth are so bad. <laughs> Aggravated grab ass. <acid. laughs> oh my god, you can see like oh, his teeth almost came out. And of course his just look fake as fuck. Like you only have a few vampires on set at a time. Y'all can't go to Spirit Halloween and pick up some of those like really good vampire teeth. Like like I said, like the ones I bought. I mean, they're 20 bucks a pop, but still. They blend in with your real teeth and they look natural. What is this shit? This is the shit I used to wear when I was a kid. 
I'm not even playing. Like, it's not even, not even an exaggeration. It's not even a joke or an exaggeration. Those are the teeth that I used to wear for Halloween as a kid. You don't want to do this, Victor. He's switching in our family. Don't worry, I'll take good care of her. <laughs> Okay, but you just stuck it through his neck. Uh, uh. She gave me a reverse tracheotomy. <laughs> I was kicking his ass. You weren't kicking his ass, though. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, they got Why you here. Are you okay? You okay? You've been out for a day now. There's a bomb on this bus. <laughs> so that we could be safe before we knew Crayon's next moves. He's always bruised place. up in the same areas safe. on his face. Surrounded by guards. Uh, Cedric will be back in another day. He's doing recon with Lucy. All safe. For now. These movies go by quick, though. Like, this is... And now, like, I only re I remember pl press and play on this only 10 minutes ago. Well, not 10, I'll say like 20, 25. She got hurt. But we're already like more than halfway through it. Are you worried about me? No. <laughs> Please don't put the camera up this nigga's shirt. <laughs> Sir? What's wrong? They said the userin didn't take, and my face is gonna be this dry forever. <laughs> so what happened? <laughs> so, so where's Victor? Dead. Damn, bro. <laughs> Damn. Prophecy had come to pass. It was her. It was her all along. It was the girl boss. The, like? the key to the key to everything. Kriyan, I don't understand. <laughs> Dipped into her blood. Stupid to my Come here. Why is he addicted to her blood? So she's got like the special blood. He's the like the girl like the the prophecy for like the girl that the prophecy foretold. He's the key to everything. Oh my god. Ugh. God, this is stacking up all the cliches. <laughs> you rest, you need it. I'll heal you, <laughs> puss. <laughs> yes, I'm a part of your war now. Sorry, Sammy. All I wanted to do was keep the peace, but I shouldn't have been so naive. Creon's gonna be coming for revenge over his son. You know, if Steven Crowder had kept acting, this is the type of shit he would've starred in. <laughs> Why was Victor so obsessed with me? Why did he say that my blood made him strong? I mean, was it something that I did? No, no, hey. Sammy, you didn't do anything wrong. None of this is your fault. Then what is it? I don't know. Well, I love how his hair is still perfect after that fight. The girl Victor liked? But she's human. Creon, I don't understand. She's addicted to her blood. Addicted? Supreme blood? Wait, that means she's... Yes. Supreme Deluxe. Yes. She's sponsored by <laughs> Burger King. <laughs> Supreme Blood? The girl Victor liked? But she's human. Creon, I don't understand. She's addicted to her blood. Addicted? 
Supreme Blood? Wait, that means she's... Yes. She's sponsored by Burger King. Yes. <laughs> and we can't tell anyone yet. Do you understand? The treaty is broken. Rick Vlad Tepes. Tepes. And the human started this whole. Well, go! And his name is Vlad Tepes. Okay, wait, so that means he's what? Dracula? A descendant of Dracula? What the fuck? I will kill them both! <laughs> Mosquito fish. They eat mosquito larva. Oh, okay. Interesting. It's drizzling out. Are the grapes ripe? Okay. Put sepic. No, I put film grain on my memories. <laughs> Even though they weren't on there before. <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna show you something. Mom jeans, my mom jeans, and your sweats coming together. And I love how in the olden days he had the same fucking haircut. It's like he didn't even he didn't even switch up. Does he keep meeting this bitch all throughout time? <laughs> like, dude, get over it. Get another bitch. <laughs> I get like, he, he he lost her once, then he found her again and again and again. I'm like, dude, get another hoe. <laughs> Is he crying in his sleep? <laughs> Let's rewind that, shall we? <laughs> He's crying in his sleep. Oh, this is so this is so, so it's it's so poorly acted. Cause it kind of looks like he's laughing. 
<laughs> but it's also pitiful. Like, oh, my dreams make me sad. <laughs> I can't lose you again. So tell me, I don't think I've ever seen you go to the bathroom. Do vampires go to the bathroom? Of course you go to the bathroom. <laughs> Weird. All right. Um, Anything else? Yes. Everything. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Your biggest fear. I think you know what that is. Cedric. Good to see you, brother. Cedric. Okay, what is it? What's, what's going on? It's Lucy. She left. Deserted. I think she's working for Creon. I'm gonna fucking kill you! Oh, Rick! I know, I know, I deserve it. You I... bonded with a rat and you let her roam on my turf? You bonded with a rat and let her roam on my turf? <laughs> oh. Tall, tall Tom Cruise. Uh, <laughs> he should have been more vigilant. But I don't know why he's blaming him for this. She is not a stop rat. Stop it, both of you, stop. <laughs> this fucking ass. You better go get her, Cedric. Because if I find her first, I'm gonna end her. She can't be gone long. She can't live without me. Believe it or not. Bitch, you bitch, or I'm gonna kill her. <laughs> not everyone wants to live. Hey, any news on Cedric? Where he's been? He said that he got a note from Lucy. She's in trouble. You don't believe it? No, I don't. Find him. I promise. Ready to go when you are? Okay. Alrick? Hmm. Do you still have that button that you found after the explosion? Yeah. I've been so blind. What does it stand for? Does necklace belong to Veldas? It doesn't stand for Velda. It stands for Van Helsing. Vampires. Oh no. <laughs> Van they introduced So wait, 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 Oh wait, wait, wait. That means bro with the with the with the <laughs> That means dude with the um bif the, the fucking shade bifocals. <laughs> He's Van Helsing? Oh my god. See, I suspect it too. I fucking, like, I was like, this dude's probably Van Helsing, but probably not. But then again, there were so many Dracula references that it could not be Van Helsing. Van Helsing. But I thought they'd all been wiped out, haven't they? Lucy hasn't been spying for Creon. I gotta find her and who she's been working for. If this doesn't end soon, it's gonna turn into an all out war. Go. Where are they? Why didn't he get my message? Don't worry. Cedric will believe your little SOS. Dude, close your legs. Oh. We'll use him to bait Alaric. And finally, Cleon. The vampires will destroy themselves. Destroy themselves. Just wait. Yeah, I'll be there in time. Oh, Cedric. It's gonna make a mess of everything. I need you to stay here with Kane, okay? I need you safe. Safe. I got it. And now I'm about to go fuck it up. Some of us don't have much time, Ethan. I die in five days. I better be able to end that son of a bitch before I go. Lucy! Cedric is all yours, Lucy. But leave Alaric to me. Oh, where did I see it? Oh, you're in here. 
spicy twist. It looks like a bootleg Leon the Professional. <laughs> Who is she? Sammy. Is this his dead wife? Is this Rosalie? Because she looks exactly like me. No, not exactly. Oliver thinks he's keeping me safe by keeping me in the dark. But he of all people should know that the dark is dangerous. And the woman in this photo, her name was Josephine, along with a lovely human that I had the privilege of meeting. Oh my god, that Photoshop was trash. Her name was Josephine. Along with a lovely human that I had the privilege of meeting. Oh my god, they didn't even put his face on there right. That is so ew. That is such a shitty Photoshop. See with, with AI images, like there's no there's no excuse anymore to, for shit to be look this bad. Mid journey exists, you motherfuckers. Her name's Ruth. You all are reincarnations of Rosalie, Alwick's wife, who died 500 years ago. It's a lot to wrap your mind around. I know. The woman in this photo, in my nightmare, she was burned alive. Yes. Kane, tell me about Rosalie. Well, I didn't know her. She was before my time. But I know that she was kind. And that Alric, <laughs> he loved her more than anything on this earth. And she had a beautiful singing voice. Like you. Abigail will never notice real short. <laughs> she wanted peace. Like Alric. I know that Ethan Van Helsing was her brother. Ethan Van Helsing. Rosalie was a Van Helsing. Was she a vampire slayer? She refused to fight vampires. She loved Ulrich. Her brother just couldn't understand that. He thought that Ulrich was using her. You see, the Van Helsing line has special blood. It gives vampires special abilities. What? That sounds a lot like my blood. That sounds a lot like my blood. <laughs> Such shitty dialogue. He was like, yep. <laughs> Mary Winchester. Hey, Jay, which is better, this or Twilight? I would still take this over Twilight, to be honest. Oh, damn. Didn't pause it there. <laughs> That is the guy that I saw in my nightmares. That is the guy who killed Rosalie. That's Creon. Creon. Also badly photoshopped. Look at that. It doesn't even match with this shit. Oh my god, my fate, the, my, bleh. that NOC that we did, uh, the faded to my forbidden alpha, uh, you know, the NOC, where, the NOC where we watched that forbidden alpha video, it's already got 172k views. <laughs> like all my other streams don't do, like, don't even do half as well. Damn. <laughs> Oh my god, those fucking Spencer's gifts. Those goddamn Spencer's gift candles. No, oh. oh, garlic, no. Hey, look at these fuck weak ass candles. Come on, bro. The fuck is this? Ah, just in time. The fuck is going on? Cooperate! 
or Cedric. Cooperate. Over there. I'm sorry, old friend. <laughs> I'm sorry, old friend. Yeah, I just came by to use the sauna, Ethan. If this is how you're gonna treat me, I'd like a refund. God. Ah. We. I shall place it by old tombstone. Right, by old tombstone. What are we waiting for? Are you gonna let me kill him? Priya doesn't need him alive anymore. Lucy, you can't kill me. You'll die too. What are you doing? Why am I doing this? Before me, you had another human. Do you remember her name? Lily. Lila, you fuck. My best friend. I saw her die. I didn't kill her. Lila, <laughs> you fuck. My best friend. I saw her die. I didn't kill her. Oh, she ran away just like you did. You treated her like you treated me. You drove her away. You <laughs> killed her. Man, well, that's killed unfortunate. Her. So what are you? Some sort of vigilante? <laughs> Ethan's bathhouse. That fucking text. Like, my God. This is never going to work. It will. They love my blood. She, go, she gonna Windex these motherfuckers with her blood? <laughs> you know what would be f fucking hilarious? If there were like two vampire thugs watching them from a car and then she goes straight up Tyrese from Too Fast Too Furious. Alien! No, wait, wait, no, no, wait. Um, oh my God, what's a good one? <laughs> Air Edward and Valak came past the hotel. Good luck. <laughs> and then she starts spraying, like, she starts going all street window washer. <laughs> oh my god, they're not even going near him. Like, they're spraying it out. What? What are we doing? So this is your master plan. Create a feud, pin the vampire families against each other. You have seen Bone saw is ready. Eject your seat, oh cuz! <laughs> so many times. That is a great scene. Oh god. I love that movie. But yet it's honestly It's honestly the best Fast and the Fast and the Furious movie. Next to seven. Seven would be number two. But yeah, like Too Fast, Too Furious is the best one. <laughs> Can't pass the whole time. <laughs> you ain't ready, Fabio. Because like so many memorable lines that came from uh, Tyrese. What do you know about my life? <laughs> oh, another bad Photoshop. Mustache. Do you miss her, Ulrich? Because I do. What the I, fuck? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Ethan? Van Helsing? How, how is this possible? You, you... Wait, so a fucking mustache and sunglasses was tripping you up, nigga? You couldn't tell that was Van Helsing the whole get the fuck out of here. You should be dead, you're human. I hunted everyone who was there the day my sister was murdered. My desire is to get rid of all you bloodsuckers. I... Why did he fake an act? I needed more than one human lifespan to accomplish that task. So I had to become one of you. A vampire vampire slayer. A vampire vampire slayer. <laughs> I loved Rosalie, you know that. But you weren't there when she needed you the most. I tried to save her. I try every time and she dies. What do you mean every time? Let them go where you're composed. Sammy? Rosalie? What, what is this? Is this some sort of sick joke? Jesus fucking Christ. She is Rosalie, reincarnated. Every time he finds her, and every time she dies. Oh no!
bones already. I love that a 500 year old has an American accent, right? <laughs> it's you. Well, Jack Diamond, you say blood sucker. Blood sucker is our word. I'm Sammy Evans. Love a good reunion with a not brother from a pre incarnate life and all, but I came to tell you guys something. Creon is the one that led the mob that killed Rosalie. Are you sure? I saw it. I have seen his face my entire life in every dream. Entire peace treaty built on lies. Creon is coming. I was going to let you all kill each other. Ethan, Ethan, if you want to avenge Rosalie, you need to let us go and help us now. But only under one condition. And once the battle is over, you must promise that you will never see each other again. Nigga! We gonna see each other anyway, how about that? <laughs> also, his acting did get better once he stopped pretending to be fucking blind and Swedish. <laughs> or whatever the hell he was trying to be. But only under one condition. And once the battle is over, you must promise that you will never see each other again. No, I can't. This is bigger than us. We have a deal. Sam. See, I need your help. And I need Cedric and I need you both. I don't know. I'm so tired of fighting. Lucy, please. We have to find Karan before he finds us. He's already on his way. I will keep him here. I think he already said he was on his way, so I don't know why. I don't know why she was, oh, we need to find him. Like, he already said he was on his way before, I think. But you almost leave. No. You almost leave. Sammy, you can't be serious. Hey. Autistic screeching. He can't make her do shit. What the hell? Like, yeah, I'm saying, hey, like. Please, just talk to me. I'm not Rosalie. Or I'm not Rosalie. Or no. I may look like her. And I may talk like her, but I I don't have her memories or her past lives. I, I don't remember any of that. I am me. Okay, but you you're getting you are getting her memories though. You keep flashing back to these bitches and like hearing his voice. Like how would you know that unless you had her memories? Or had like at least some of her memories. So it's not I'm just saying. Alric. I love you, Sammy. I love Every you. Every single version of you with all of my heart. <laughs> Every single version of you. Like every lifetime. I try to find you. And we fall in love and like some sick curse you die before the age of 30. <laughs> God, you know, maybe Ethan's right. Maybe we're not supposed to be. I don't think it's a sick curse. I think it's if we are, a die. generational thing. Yeah, a lot of people died before they were man. 30. <laughs> back back then. No. I am alive because of you. I know. Is he giving birth? Birth? What the I fuck? I deserve this. Is, is that <sighs> blood? What are you doing? Creon is coming. You need your strength. You can't fight like this. I. I hate you, and I always will. Ethan and Sammy deserve better. I'm doing this for them. I always th thought 
you could love me. I'm tall, I'm tall Tom Cruise. You can't do this to me. Leave your find our amenities more than suitable. <clears throat> Can you You're stop blind. pretending to be crippled and blind with that stupid mustache? Thank you, sir. I find it quite beautiful. My son came here? He did. He got the full mani-pedi. He enjoyed every minute of it. What is this? It's, it's uh, been in my family for generations. I, I can get you one yourself if you like. I'm fine. I can see. I swear they use the same soundtrack for every movie. This, they use this song in every movie. You're one of us. Fairly observant. I'm with you to the blood. Yeah, how would, did you think no one would be able to fucking tell? I'm surprised he didn't talk about you more. That's quite all right. I, I don't need to take the credit for your son's achievements. This can work. Yes. It's a trap. The battlefield is not so different from a beauty spy. You see, you can put your body through the linger. Yes. My man will be ready. All right. Try But sir, you need to understand one thing. Yes. Alaric. Is mine. Of course. Allow me to check on your men, sir. What's this screeching? <laughs> yeah. Do looking like the hotel concierge, more like a hotel concierge than a villain. Will. And all right, I, I'll keep her safe. I promise. Oh, shit. I'm gonna hold you. Oh, God. Oh. Christmas time I is that. here. I hope you've enjoyed Vampire's gonna die Thank tonight. You. What the hell is this? Wow, Mr. Dalka, this place is the best. I'm coming back here every day. Now the time for your detox. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please. Right this way, gentlemen. This is very special for you. Yeah, what the hell is, even is this? After you. <laughs> Enjoy, gentlemen. Another Zelda Enjoy, fan, gentlemen. lol, waving at a blind man. Pretty good. Yeah. That's great. Okay. How is it now? It's hot. Hey, uh, Dalka, it's kind of hot. Could you turn it down? Hey! Hey, Dalkum, it's, it's getting hot. Let us out of here. Come on. Vampires may no longer fear the sun, but under these UV lamps, you're still gonna die. Dude, fucking laughing. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, that's a clever way to kill uh, vampires. Like, own own your own spa where you can put them in like a UV in a, like a UV lit room and kill them. Okay, fine. But like, they had to make it where Van Helsing of all people, Van Helsing of all people, owned a fucking spa. <laughs> Oh, 
Did he stick up his middle finger at him? <laughs> no, that's not his middle finger. I thought it was. Could have helped. Oh my god. Oh, you made a good point. GC says if the UV if the UV from the sun doesn't work, why do UV lamps work? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just now realizing that too. Oh <laughs> it's so dumb. Should have helped. Safe here, Sammy. It's all all work once. Nobody knows about this place. Any the cat ozone layer, that's how. You know what? Since they did try to go off on some shit about the uh, about climate change, I wouldn't be surprised if that was their huge excuse. Oh, well, the ozone layer is like blocking the UV rays, so vampires uh, can, vampires can walk okay. out in the sun now. But if you spray them, not spray them, but if you cover them with UV rays that are completely unfiltered from ozone, then then they can die. I bet you. <laughs> I bet you that was their thought process when they wrote this shit. I'm betting money. But it don't make no, still doesn't make any Kane, fucking you sense. Kane, ugly sweater I found. Kane? Kane? Hey. Oh, he did. At least the black guy didn't die first. Oh. And stop showing this. It's an establishing shot for Van Helsing's bathhouse. So we already know it's Van Helsing's bath bathhouse because the next shot is going to be inside his bathhouse. <laughs> the Skull Monkey Media. Jay, you assume there was thought put into this? I mean, it wasn't good thought and it was minimal, but it was there was some thought. Because listen to what dude said. He said vampires no longer fear, fear the sun. So they used to. And like they do, they, they were talking about climate change. So what I'm thinking is they thought that, oh, well, we're like the, the ozone layer is like thickening because of climate change. So the UV rays don't have as much effect. So vampires aren't, don't burn up in the sun. But if you expose them to, um, unfettered like totally pure uv rays they, they die I, i'm just assuming that was the thought process because from what i'm hearing that this sounds like that that was the rationality the ration the rationality they put into this <laughs> bone saw is ready better fight scenes than it and an echo <laughs> They definitely, definitely filmed this one. I feel. Don't move. Or I'll carve her lungs out. Ooh, those teeth. Hang on a second. Um. Ben Bar Huli. I thought there was a hole in the ozone layer they've been complaining about. Oh, right, right. I don't know. I don't know why I thought it was the opposite. Jesus Christ. I'm all over the place. I'm already like delirious and kind of tired from watching this shit. <laughs> oh, wow. You put him in water. <laughs> oh, carve her oh, my God. He's got more glue teeth. Look at that. Where's the upper teeth at? It's just one tooth. 
There's no definition for any other teeth. Oh god, that is so bad. Don't move! Or I'll carve her lungs out. Her lungs out? He can't even speak properly! Wait, what do you do? I didn't see it. I'll cough her lungs out. Look out! That is so fucking lame. And what did she even do? She stabbed him with his own weapon, but when? <laughs> oh my God. That was such a clumsy edit. It's over, Creon. On a date with Rosalie, K. <laughs> so it is. This is just what the crackheads look like in Hollywood. Where's Crayon? At the hideout. Why? He knows you're not there. He's out the way. Oh, Watch out! no gaps between the fucking teeth. There's no creases. It's just one big ass, <laughs> big ass crooked tooth. What the fuck? You should go. No, no, go. Don't lose her this time. Go, go. <laughs> we have to do it, Lucy. We're running out of time. Autistic, autistic screeching. Just pull it out. <laughs> it won't hurt. Ugly ass teeth. What the fuck? They look so bad. <laughs> Robot chicken six seventy one ninety nine super chat. Just got off from work. I'm so confused. I know. <laughs> so here we are again. Has it bring back fond memory? What do you have against Rosalie? Don't play dumb with me. It was a prophecy that said a Van Helsing female loved by a vampire would kill my son! <laughs> You would have done the same. I just didn't think that I needed to do it twice. <sighs> I couldn't 
save my son. <laughs> but I sure as hell could avenge him. <laughs> yeah, he, he said, yeah, see, he needs subtitles. Because he'd just be mumbling and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell that you're standing on like some kind of stool and not the wooden planks, but okay. I mean the wooden sticks, but okay. Yeah! Rosalie! Come and see me. Rosalie! I'm coming. Sammy! Uh, that cat was in the shot. Rosalie! That is so awkward. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> like they could have shoot him away before they before they said action. Oh my god. Oh. Either cropped him out or could have shoot him away. Cats are very easy to shoo away. That is so fucking funny. <laughs> oh, let me see if I can cap it. Hang on. Cameo by Mr. Nittles. <laughs> Fucking cat! Sammy! Creon! Yeah! That's enough! Creon! <laughs> Who's he? <laughs> Alric! Look who's here! I never wanted to have to beat up an old man. <laughs> I never wanted to have to beat up an old man. Mist! Mist! <laughs> Oh. Old ass actor. Go with you, He's really like feeling himself in this movie. This. Mish. So you want to play? Let's play. Um, is his finger broken? What the fuck? <laughs> His finger like bends in a in a way that's not possible. Look at his fucking finger! Holy god damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Shits! Oh fuck! Great. <laughs> well, it's almost over, so we know where we're at. We're really almost done. Jesus! I never wanted to have to. Stronger with these Okay, wait a minute. Robot Chicken 670199 Super Chat. Is that old man wearing a wife beater under a cape? Yes! Yes! 100%. Oh, this! Oh. Ah. <laughs> so you want to play? It's like pointing that way. And then like <laughs> And then like it, it bends the other way. Oh my god, that's fucked. Display. Any of the cat. So Jay Long going, when are you when will you EFAP this with the boys? I'm sure Mahler and Rags would have a cycle commentary on this movie. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh my god. Sammy, go get out of here! No! You need a drink. 
fucking <laughs> please. No, no, seriously. <laughs> Oh, some bad fire effects. Oh, oof. Ah! Ah! <laughs> that is a pitiful. Pitiful way for a vampire, you know, an old vampire to die. Sammy, Sammy, go get out of here. No, you need a drink. Please. No, no, Sammy, I can't. I can't. Please, don't. Oh, they mask her out. Uh, they masked out uh, her hair in the fire. So it's, oh my God, so bad. Blair Jagels, $5 super chat, first day of new semester, missing my dog and family friend. Your stream made long commute a little easier. Much love. Oh, thank you. Go, go. Oh, now they're bonded. Oh no. I mean, like, my thing is, why not just turn them into a vampire so, so not as to not risk them dying when you die? You know what I mean? That's just. Yeah. Jack Diamond, I swear he said the words gulp. <laughs> He's protected by the Capri Sun Shield. <laughs> you can't stop me. This is prophesized! Not in this lifetime, fucker. <laughs> oh my god, this is so corny. Not in this lifetime, fucker. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, that, oh god. <laughs> you fisted me, damn it. This is for Rosalie. Stop! No! <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Um, why did you? Why did I hear a, a window burst from fire? If you, like. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, the first peace treaty between vampires and humans. It only took us 2,000 years. <laughs> <laughs> everything worked out just... Everything worked out just fine. How about a photo, Claude? Everybody in. I thought there was already a treaty and it was broken. Whatever. Hopefully you keep this promise better than the one about never seeing my sister again. Technically, she's not your sister. But I will take a family discount to the spot. Of course. Blue River. Hi, Jay just got here. Sometime. My God, is this filmed in portrait mode? Yes, it is. It's supposed to appeal to Zoomers. Zoomers, we have our own streaming service now. <laughs> well, it's actually working because they always yeah, talk shit about go? this on, uh, on uh, TikTok. Let's find somewhere you've never been. Must be out there. It'd be hilarious if they were kissing while swinging on this shit and they just both flew off it. <laughs> Cut 
Cassandra! Isn't that that bitch from the club in the beginning? Master. Master Dracula. Oh no. No, y'all are not introducing fucking Dracula. The balls on these people. The world has changed. We were once the gods. Now we live in peace with humans. We know who she is. You don't need to show that. Thank you. Master Dracula. Bonesaw is ready. Are they actually sequel baiting this shit? <laughs> yes, they are. Dracula locked in a dungeon? Why isn't he in a coffin? That's usually that's usually the trope of like vampire films that Dracula's featured in. He's usually usually trapped in a coffin sleeping for a, a thousand years or whatever. <laughs> oh, he's wearing the he's wearing he's wearing the glue teeth too. Ew. Dracula, look what they've done to you. <laughs> hey, look, he's wearing the glue teeth. Oh, ew. The teeth with no teeth. <laughs> and wouldn't his teeth be filthy considering the fact that he has been in a dingy ass dungeon? His teeth are perfectly white and like, you just. <laughs> Shiny. To be continued. <laughs> oh, God. That was shit. I want to find something shorter, though. Because it's already 10 o'clock. And I want to cap it at midnight. And I'm not going to have time for something this, like, this long. Like, hour and a half. So let's see if we can get something kind of short. Fatal attraction to the hybrid princess. Oh God. Big bad husband, please wake up. <laughs> what? Uh, married at first sight. Uh, oh wait. Orthworm Jeb, $20 super chat. Thanks for the double feature of cringe, baby girl. Uh, thank you. The Boss Affair. Uh, I mean, it's really short. It's like a solid hour. How my boss became my hubby. Do me over. Yeah. <laughs> my mate is a vampire. That's like an hour three. Bound by Honor, kidnapped by the mafia. Bound by Honor, that's like you stealing that title, nigga. That's the Blood and Blood Out's title. Okay, I'm trying to think. What can we watch? I'm only doing one more and then we're like trilogy and then we're out. Um, I want to do Big Bad Husband. Please wake up. Oh, Bone Saw is ready. Two dollars super chat. When are you forcing EFAP to watch that? Who knows? I might get. Him, I might force him to watch some of this shit. <laughs> oh my God! You're my baby daddy. Um, the Boss Affair. I kind of want to check that out. Let me see. Let, let, let's get a, a feel of it. I mean, it's an image of two hands clapped. So it should be steamy. A steamy, steamy one. A steamy reel. How do we reward you? Uh, oh, Claire Jagels, $2 super chat. Do you think we'll ever finish Evil Foster Mom? I don't know what Generation Hope is doing on that front. Like, we were promised a conclusion to that shit or a se- No, no, it's supposed to be a sequel to that and we have not gotten it. 
The fuck? Didn't tell you about us? Poor assistant. You're so fired. Nothing should have ever happened between us. You're an asshole. God. You're an asshole. If I was you, I would do something before it's too late. Fuck, here we go. First day of work. Ew, his nipples. What was wrong with his nipples right there? It's, it's so pointy. If I was you, I would do something before it's too late. Hang on, oh, look at it. It's pointy. It's so pointy. <laughs> Get past this. First day of work, Lucy. First day of work, Lucy. Lucy First Harris. First day of work, Lucy. <laughs> No, just one drink. I cannot show up my first day from my work. Fine, Miss Responsibility. Ooh, the audio mixing is so bad. You can't hear what the fuck they're saying. Oh, wait. Uh, we haven't ordered drinks yet. Uh, courtesy of the guy. Whatever. <laughs> That Who wears shirts like this anymore? You're gonna reject a free drink. One drink. Are you sure you're a woman? <laughs> That's what he wanted to say. You're gonna reject your you're gonna reject a free drink? Are you sure you're a woman? Cheers. No, come on, I don't dance. Tonight? You do. I'm the brooding male protagonist. I do not do anything that even resembles self-expression. <laughs> Except for maybe fucking. I'll do that, but not dance. <laughs> Coming next. I'm sure someone will be coming. And flops. Be your new boss. The CEO of Walker Enterprises. Walker. <laughs> Why did you show that? The fuck? You're gonna take your shirt off in the bathroom? Wait, you fuck. Wait. <laughs> you fucking in the bathroom and you took your shirt off? Ew. Ew. It's like walking in there barefoot. It's just like, ew. What are you doing that for? <laughs> You're only supposed to zip down your pants and pull them down a little bit. That's as far as that shit goes. It's as far as nakedness goes in a public place. Especially a fucking bathroom. Ew. Sorry, I'm late. late. Yeah, uh, I just got stuck. Listen, I don't care about your personal life. Maya Hancock, secretary. The CEO hates toilets. And slobs. He's just going to love you. Lucy, be your new boss. The CEO of Walker Enterprises. Luke Walker. Hello, look at my wrinkled turtleneck. <laughs> How did he get there before you, bitch? You would have known that if you had stayed this morning. How's this gonna work? The audio is so garbage. You could at least take out the stingers before uploading this. Good luck. Nice shirt. Oh. Yeah, sorry, I didn't find mine. How the fuck did you get here before her? That's because you threw up on it. And I threw it in the laundry. Thanks. You would have known that if you had stayed this morning. I'm sorry I was late for this. You know, I don't normally do things like last night. I don't normally no. sleep with people who end up being my boss. <laughs> How's this gonna work? It isn't. You're fired. This, Stop. us, would be an HR nightmare. Don't flatter yourself. 
Last night meant nothing to me. Fired? Yes, I can't have you working for me. But... But this is my dream job. I'm sorry, HR can set you up with a new opportunity. You're punishing me for sleeping with I'm you. I'm not punishing you. Then what? Why are you fine? It would be a conflict of interest, dummy. Like, you read the fucking room. Because I am insanely, desperately attracted to you. Oh, God. This <laughs> would be an HR nightmare. An what HR Geiger nightmare. Trouble. <laughs> trouble. Don't flatter yourself. Last night meant nothing to me. Oh, nothing. I was drunk, and you're my boss. I don't exactly mix business and pleasure. Good to know it was pleasure. <laughs> it was pleasure to watch grandma. Ouch. You can't fire me for this. Let's play a little game, shall we? If you can guess I how like long it. my nipples are in Especially inches, you can stay. <laughs> you say you can control yourself, and I say you can't. I will try to get you into bed. I'll try to resist. And if you mm. lose, you'll agree to change departments. I don't play games, especially with my bosses. You afraid I might win? Of course not. Then you have nothing to worry about, do you? Fine. I want to iron dude. your fucking turtleneck and then we'll talk. Luke <laughs> Walker. And make sure you don't wash it too many times, otherwise it's gonna look uh, worn like it does. <laughs> Half the numbers in this annual report are wrong. Oh no, are they gonna do the secretary thing? Are they gonna, is, is they gonna do that? If y'all don't know what that is, uh, the movie Secretary with, um, with, um, with James Spader, I'm not gonna explain it. You have to just watch it for yourself. But I'm, I, I, oh God, I hope he's not gonna do the James Spader thing. Please don't do that. Please don't embarrass me. <laughs> Robot Chicken 670199 Super Chat. What kind of boss wears a turtleneck? <laughs> Actually, I think turtlenecks are awesome, especially for men. Um, uh, it's just that he's a douche. And he's wearing like a dingy ass unironed turtleneck, <laughs> and it looks bad. Uh, so yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I like turtlenecks, especially on dudes with good shoulders and good arms. Like, yeah, that's what I'm talking. That's yeah, that's Kino. That's Kino shit. But um, yeah, like I said, this dude looks like an idiot. Hi. His turtleneck sucks. It might even be the wrong material for a turtleneck. It looks loose. Eh. Yawn. <laughs> Your body ain't that great, Holmes. Um, what the fuck? Oh wait, oh, okay. That's his office. Are you Thank you. Another Zelda fan? What? Jay has a type. What, turtlenecks? <laughs> That's all I was talking about. Half the numbers in this annual report are wrong. What? I pulled those numbers from accounting. Yeah, I don't care about your excuses. I care about results. If you're given a task, deliver. Otherwise, don't commit. Finish them. Work is work. Next time, finish your work. Okay. Robot Chicken 670, 499 Super Chat. They are bordering on sexual Don't forget to lock up before you leave. If you ever leave. Abigail, Henry Cavill wears a turtleneck in Argyle. I'm sure he does. <laughs> Thank you. 
come to watch me struggle? No. I have to give you this. Next time, finish your work. Nothing. Know why I did that to you yesterday? To torture me? To motivate you. Putting a scorpion down yes, the dress the was a necessary evil. <laughs> Partly thanks to my newest assistant. He's got an act for marketing and a great work ethic. Okay. Bye. I hope you know why I did that to you yesterday. To torture me? No. To motivate you. You're smart, ambitious, and I don't want you to think that I'm ever trivializing you. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I put your name next to the numbers I sent over to the board. Never hurts for them to know who you are. Mistakes are punished. Hard work is rewarded. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. You need a distraction. Done. Oh no, he's got the Paul Dano haircut. Ugh. Girl, you can't take your box. I know. Girl, you can't. Like, <laughs> that was just an attack on the senses right there. Uh, <laughs> it's complicated. That's an understatement. <laughs> yeah, what do I do? We're drinking water out of wine glasses. <laughs> Uh, AKA a date. Mm. I'm trying to avoid a relationship right now. Which is why this is so brilliant. <sighs> Done. Mm hmm You're welcome. Get it, girl. That's the same phone and phone case I saw in the last movie. Are they just exchanging shit? Like, the same props? Hi. Hey. Uh, Lucy? Yeah. Okay, I, I have to say I'm- Robot Chicken 670, 199 Super Chat. What the fuck is that Tony Soprano shirt he's wearing? Relieved. Oh, um, I guess you're talking about the striped one old boy wore uh, like a minute ago. Yeah. <laughs> Just like your profile photo, then that is not as common as you think. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yeah. So, Jack Lucy, Diamond. what do you do? Paul Dan will be a dork of I just started a like job at a big market <laughs> Oh, wow. So sexy and smart. What about you? Oh, what about me? Um, so I am an art dealer. What I do is I find small artists and I find them a clientele. Make sure I exchange hentai uh, uh, JPEGs with friends. Some of them actually <laughs> are Shit. in black Uh-huh. If this isn't working, I can handle it. You're exactly the type of guy I should be dating. You're rent due, motherfucker. Bigger showcases so more people can see their work. Some of them actually are in uh, exhibit over at LACMA. Uh, Lucy? Sorry. No, no, I, I was just saying that a couple of my clients have a beautiful art show up at LACMA right now, and I was wondering if, I would, if you'd like to come. Um, uh, yes. You don't look too excited. No! I am. I'm sorry. That sounds great. Yeah, uh, the art exhibit or that guy here checking out? I'm <laughs> not checking him out. No, You're listen, very man, obviously look. looking at this nigga, bitch. <laughs> and he's right behind you. Blue River 199 Super Chat. He looks like a lost Franco brother. Thing. I can handle it. I mean, you're talking about boy. the guy behind him, like, you know, old boy. I mean, yeah, I get it, but like, I hope you're no, not talking about Paul Dano. Right. I'm sorry. You're exactly the type of guy I should be dating, but I have to go. Jack Diamond, I'm a Discord mod, and then she ran away as fast as she could. 
not right for you. How do you know? Because he's not me. Ugh. Wait, so she ditched her fucking date who she just met in the same night for, for this dude? That Yeah, you're not an asshole. You're totally not an asshole. You gonna order the whole bar by the end of the night? <laughs> Lucy, what are you doing here? You're on a date. I was. So you okay. answered your own question. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It'd been better if you said, oh, Lucy, I see you're on a date, but no, you just, you asked a question and then you answered your own question. What? He's not right for you. How do you know? Because he's not me. You're drunk. You should go home. Yeah, it looks like he just got there. I'm sure he's not drunk. Actually, I'm on my way back to the office. Now? Marking strategy isn't strong enough. And we need an entire overhaul. Wait, I may not know numbers, but I do know marketing. Let me help. It's gonna take all night. Work is work, right? It's gonna take all night. Oh, she just left this nigga to sit. That's some bullshit. I'm sorry, but she's a bitch. I don't understand if like, oh, the date goes through and like, the, like the whole date go, goes off without a hitch, but then she just realizes, you know, she's just not into this guy because she's too busy thinking about the boss. Okay, that's fine, but she just left this motherfucker, like, she met him and like her, like her, what he had, to, like, was he even listening to what he was saying, just, was just fixated on her boss and it just left him there. That's some bullshit. That's awful. This guy's a goner. He's gonna Kiss. hang himself. <laughs> Luke, what about the game? You can put those figures in. And of course, she's bent over him. <laughs> you should see an increase on user growth in the next few days. This is incredible, Lucy. How do you know how to do all this? I don't know. I guess it just always kind of came naturally to me. <laughs> How do we reward you? A raise would be a great start. Or a kiss. I could yank off one of your earrings and Breakfast. watch the blood drain from your ear. Luke, what about the game? <laughs> Screw the game. Nah! That's a bad. Seriously. Seriously, you made the rules, boss man. Well, robot chicken, 671, I percent She left him there no. to pay the check. No, a bet's a bet. Seriously. Seriously, you made the rules, boss man. Fine. I guess I'll just have to try harder. Guess you will. You ditched Jason for your boss? We had to... That line reading, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Work. Until 3 a.m. I am warning you, girl. You are playing with fire. Who's Bossman? Nobody. That could have been worth some money. I mean, at least look in the damn box first.
destroying things people gave you that they spent, probably spent a good amount of money on. It's so perky. Monster Mangler. Okay, there's rejection and there's vindictiveness. <laughs> I'm not interested. Then why haven't you backed away? I'm so short. And then he just... <laughs> Seems you don't like my presence. I'm so short and helpless. Come reach this cup, man. You drive me crazy. What's it going to take to make you mine? I told you I'm not interested. Then why haven't you backed away? Bonesaw is ready. $2 super chat. This girl is making me oh. miss Natalie Quinn. Oh, she, what the fuck? Then why haven't you backed away? Oh. Well, that's great. That was on purpose. Do you enjoy torturing me? I thought I was motivating you. What's up with that dress you're wearing at work, sweetheart? <laughs> that wrinkly shit? Everybody's clothes are wrinkled! Do you enjoy torturing me? Except his shirt. But look at this! What the fuck is this? I thought I was motivating you. Ah! Oh, ah! you idiot! Mr. Walker, are you okay? You must be burning up. It's nothing I can't handle. Monster Mangler, why is he attracted to her? <laughs> well, they already had sex, so that, that explains it. Brought you it. some lemon water. Promise not to accidentally spill it on you this time. And that is not that a work dress. What the fuck is that? You enjoy torturing me? I thought I was motivating you. Besides, you're the one who wanted to play this silly little game. I expected it to get physical, not painful. Oh. I mean, those could be one in the same. <laughs> That's a good question. Sorry. You should be. <laughs> what the fuck was that all about? Consider I'm sorry, you should be. Oh, like, that sounds like a threat. Come on. It was not that bad. I want to see yeah. yeah, that's a little bit much. Oh, she burned him. What the fuck? Does it hurt? Only when you touch it. Sorry. You should be. I could sue your ass for burning me, because that's assault. <laughs> Oh, this is, this is irritating me. Exactly. Which is why I'm throwing a little party at my house tonight. Oh, no. Mr. Walker. <clears throat> the marketing report is in. And? and? This is amazing. We've never seen a used to grow place before. Exactly. Also, her skirt is hella tight and house. short and I want for the to office. What the fuck? Look at that. That's a ooh. He never invites. <laughs> I saw the back of her fucking thighs, and I was like, "No, I don't like a knee-jerk reaction to that." House tonight, and I want you both there. Like, look at the back of this bitch. Damn it! I tried to pause it on, right on it. Damn it! Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna get it. Yeah, look! Look what the fuck! <laughs> that is too fucking short to be wearing at an office. What the fuck? It is not even flattering to her. No one should see that much thigh, especially when you already kind of on the thick side. What the fuck?
Chanty. I'm seeing a uh, seeing a pattern of what type of employees he hires. Man, this is so not appropriate. This is huge. He never invites anyone to his house. Not even his dates. I've heard. Like I'm not insulting. I'm just saying it's not appropriate for the workplace. Like, when you're out with your man or whatever, fine. But, like, for the workplace, that that hit me. I was like, wait a minute! This is- you at work, bitch! <laughs> Damn, girl. Are you looking Damn, girl. Or oh, shit. <laughs> How am I supposed to remember my speech tonight when you're looking like that? When you're looking so average. <laughs> Wait. Are you gonna go see your boss? Not like that. We have a work meeting. Just professional. Professional. When a woman's bra and panties match, it can only mean one thing. <laughs> that she has good taste in bra and panties. <laughs> that she knows how to dress. I don't know. Now, how am I supposed to N-R-E-S. Uh, she can't even bend in the slightest or breathe wrong. Yeah, so she bends over, you're seeing veg. This is so fucking inappropriate. Is that his girlfriend? Because she screwed. You're here early. You're here earlier. <laughs> 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 And you are? Charlotte, this is my assistant Lucy. Lucy, this is Charlotte from Product. From Product, great. Can I get you some of the drink? Uh, red wine would be great. Sure. <laughs> You're here early. You're here earlier. <laughs> I was invited. Help Luke set up. Why aren't you the one getting my drink then? <laughs> Roll to <laughs> give you. I think this That's house is used in a rest of development. Here with eyes on him. So get in line. Bitch, your old ass, like, look. <laughs> like, chick is mid, okay. But like, you're like, uh, like 69 years old. <laughs> Charlotte Morse. She's been trying to get with Luke for years now. Isn't this place huge? I guess that's her skirt you know, here is longer than the one she wore at work. Company. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Charlotte Morris. She's been trying to get with Luke for years now. Years? Mm -hmm. If it ever happened, I would report her to HR so fast. Dickish? What the fuck? Oh, sorry. You alone? Why wouldn't I be? I just thought. Shut the door. Oh no! Here we go. Right. <laughs> Should be in here. No. Oh god. <laughs> and then they cut it. <laughs> Like this is hella threatening because from that POV, it's just it's that's not romantic or even sexy. <laughs> She's trying to unlock the door and leave. Like I need to get the fuck out of here. And he's like, boy. <laughs> he's taking off his shirt and walking towards her. It's like. Like, you gotta know how fucked up that looks. Suck. <laughs> I guess we're trapped though. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a house full of people out there. So, 
I mean, it's so my house. You think they'll be wondering where you are? Let them wonder. Let them wonder, woman. <laughs> Is he out there? Would you stop showing him from this fucking angle? This is so uncomfortable. Look at this shit. Oh my god. Hang on, hang on. I want to see if I can get a. Uh, I want to get that cap. It's funny. With that caption, it's so funny. <laughs> it wasn't that fucking hot. I know how you can make it up to me. Stay. Everyone, if I can have your attention, I'd like to make a toast. To my nipples. Let they be, let them be pointy. Be working for me. Firm. <laughs> I can be demanding, perfectionist, brutally honest at times. But we could not have gotten the numbers we have today without all of you. So, thank you. Now let's drink this expensive champagne, huh? Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. This game is already gone, huh? To Luke. Cheers. 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 What kind of cup is that? <laughs> Ew, she even looks like, a, like an, a fucking spider monkey next to him. Like, bitch, what, like, the way she's, like, clinging on to him is so desperate. I mean, I know that's the point, but still, Jesus. She looks old as fuck. She's like, come here, you young buck. My pretty. I want to suck your essence. <laughs> Your eyes are like two emeralds. Yeah, you. Ugh. You're also coming on way too strong. Jesus. And your hair looks like a wig. I know how you can make it up to me. Stay. With all its luck, the lighting is bad, and I hate horizontal framing. I was like finished. You really think I kept you here to clean? I mean, to clean your dick <laughs> with her mouth. Suck the sheen off that motherfucker. <laughs> I can help with that. She can head home. No, I think Lucy can handle it. Her? I'm sure she doesn't know the first thing about fine china. <laughs> I don't think this is fine china. I'm sure Luke only saves that for his special guests. Yeah. You show it. Okay, but like you're also insulting everyone else at the party that was there. I mean, not just her. So it's not re uh, really a good comeback. Mars, look at Tucker Carlson. <laughs> I wasn't finished. You, you really think I kept you here to clean? My mate's coming in the morning. Stay with me. What about Charlotte? She's harmless. Harmless? She was all over you all night. Oh, you're jealous, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Charlotte? Not at all. Charlotte's arm, right? The mid girl dance, the mid girl song. I'm calling off the game. Walking up the stairway okay. to heaven. Gonna rub my mid face all over his nipples pointing towards my future. Don't blame this on the alcohol, goddammit. Take responsibility <laughs> for your actions. I am taking responsibility. Oh boy, here we go. This time you don't have to steal. Luke, stop. It's just a joke, are you okay? Last night was wrong. 
We shouldn't have done this. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> Lucy, seriously? I just... No, oh, no, it pissed. came over me. Can't you stop to think that maybe nothing came over you? Maybe you wanted it just... Uh, somebody came over her. <laughs> I think it was you. It should have been you. <laughs> Something came over me. Like, yeah. <laughs> just as much as I did? I just drank too much. Don't blame this on the alcohol, goddammit. Take responsibility God for your actions. I am taking responsibility. And it was a mistake. Oh, ouch. So I'm a mistake now. No, I just, mm -hmm. I wasn't... Expecting this. Well, what did you expect when you pulled me into bed? I, I don't know. I have to go. We need drama for the second half of the movie. I just rolled over. Not now, please. Why are you being like this? You want to keep things professional, right? Are you Mr. Walker? Not now, please. Why are you being like this? You want to keep things professional, right? So let's do that. You're dismissed. Yeah, but You're dismissed, what kind of bitch. You understand. <laughs> What do I do? Apologize. He didn't tell you about us. Oh lord, her crazy Maya. ass. I need you to run these numbers for me. But isn't that Lucy's job? I don't trust her with the numbers. <laughs> I don't trust her with the number of inches on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> you won't even look at me. You know what you have to do, right? No. You have to say that he raped you for his attention. What do I do? <laughs> Apologize. He's clearly hurt. Abigail, I miss Natalie and Sebastian. Me too. You can do this. Morning, Lacey. Didn't see you on Mr. Walker's schedule this morning. Oh, he didn't tell you about us? Poor assistant. The fuck? Is that what you do? Just sleep around with all your employees? You know, for someone who wants nothing to do with my life, you sure do care a lot. <laughs> I'm busy. I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are. <laughs> So, do you have a bet with everyone in the office? Does she wear the same fucking earrings every day? What? Is that what you do? The Ma you Sonic the Hedgehog the earrings? Place? What are you talking about? I saw Charlotte leaving your office this morning. And? You know, for someone who wants nothing to do with my life, you sure do care a lot. I do not care. Then get out. Luke. It's Mr. Walker. I am your father. <laughs> Nice lighting in the scene. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is he outside? Shirtless? I know this is probably a dream sequence or like a fantasy scene. I get it. But like, why are you fantasizing him outside with no shirt on? Showing him at that angle. 
Wait, what, what are we at so far? 32, all right, so we're more than halfway. Well, no, not more than halfway. Um, Yeah, more than halfway. We're more than halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck sick. I'm your boss, <laughs> not your play toy. What do you want? Not your play toy. I want you. <laughs> I want you to like one more time. Do you want me or not? You just said you did. <laughs> I don't believe him. You think this whole thing is just a game? You made me into a fool. What? So you want me? Okay, show. <laughs> Damn it! I had a good joke and I fucked fucked it up. Oh, so you like me? Okay, suck my dick right now. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> wasn't trying to. No? Then what were you trying to do? I was trying to protect myself. From this. If you want out, go ahead. Jack Diamond, can we go back to Jason Tin- God damn it. Can we go back to Jason Tinderman? He seemed like he actually had a life outside of awkward sex and dumb drama. Who the hell is Jason Tinderman? <laughs> Uh, Robot Chicken 670 499 Super Chat the Fashion designer has to be mentally challenged To dress them like this In or out Lucy You want my dick in or out <laughs> I ask you one more time Do you want me or not Yes Are you suggesting to sneak around with me, Luke Walker? No. We need rules. So now what? What do you mean? I mean, how... how do we do this? Not like our coworkers can exactly see. It's like HR violation 101. Then I guess there's only one option. Bone size ready. She looks like a less attractive Chris Are Pratt. Are you ex -wife. suggesting? I'm forgetting her name right now. Uh, it's uh, uh no. Anna Ferris. I think rules. her name was. Rules. Yeah, like. Jack Donner. Yes, Jason, the guy she left behind for her boss. Oh, okay, okay. Fine. But at all other times, you belong to me. And luckily for you, it's 10 p.m. I missed that whole part. Officially after hours. I still have five minutes. I are wait. His name is Luke Walker. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, I did make a Star Wars joke earlier. Sounds like torture. It's not that bad. Four minutes. I can last four minutes. <laughs> and then he nuts. <clears throat> Mr. Walker, I forgot your marketing report. Oh. Bro, there are windows everywhere. I mean, well, they aren't an office building. Good night. Good night, Mr. Walker. Jack Diamond Jay's getting bored, uh, getting bored to death. It's not that I'm bored, really. I was bored the last one because there were so many boring parts. But this is making me laugh. Right. I mean kind of interest interesting to me because it's, like, it's so um juvenile oh my god <laughs> so fucking lame like, whatever guy i get with better not send me any fucking nudes making that dumbass face <laughs> robot chicken 670 199 super chat 
This guy comes across as so rapey. You hungry? I mean... I was thinking we could go to the farmer's market today. Sounds good. Uh, hey! Damn! Give me that. Damn! No wonder why you can't keep your hands to yourself. Are you gonna go? No! Uh, I'm hanging out with you. Screw that! Go get your man! <laughs> go get your man! Aren't you like morally opposed to this? You look happy. It's been a long time since. And if you're happy, what happened. you're doing can't possibly be wrong. <laughs> Go. Bone saw is ready. He's sending eggplant emojis to Gross. Say. You hungry? I mean, what are you doing with that? It was on the nightstand? Maybe he didn't want it to see it. Maybe you should have moved it? You dingus. I'm not hungry anymore. It just felt. Please put it back to where it was. What the fuck is this problem? If you didn't want her not gonna, why is it there? It's so visible. Everything okay? Yeah. Come on, I made breakfast. That is a. <laughs> Oh my god, these are amazing. A pitiful flapjack. Oh. You took the every girl you bring home? I don't bring girls home. Really? When was the last time you had Dry ass pancakes. <laughs> Seven years. Oh. Wow. That's a long time. Yes, it is. Shall we eat? I'm not hungry. I was thinking maybe later. Oh my god, bitch, you were pathetic. Charlotte, so good to see you. It's Monday, are you ever coming back? What are you so happy about? Nothing. Just in a good mood. I was thinking maybe later we could work. Excuse me. Bar. Charlotte, so good to see you. Lacey, is it? Lucy. Right. Jack Diamond, why do well, most of his lines I sound ADR? Probably, <laughs> here's my hunch, that they make his voice sound oh, deeper I by adding so some bass. I totally didn't see that. So it kind of makes him, it makes it, it sound like his lines are, like they make him sound more manly by adding a little bit, a bit of bass, but, it, but then also it makes it sound like his voice is completely independent from him as an actor. That's my hunch, though. Like, don't hold me to that. Oh, you're so fired. Um, Maya, wait. Why would you I am show so that? I totally didn't see you there. You all right? Fine. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. I can, uh, pay you for your shirt. What did it cost? Five dollars. I mean, I could probably pay you in pennies. <laughs> this, this creepy bitch. The shirt is designer. Prada retails for like nine hundred. So you spent nine hundred dollars for a shirt, bitch. Five dollars and nine hundred dollars. Like <laughs> that's still a really like five dollars. That like that wasn't even an insult. That's just like if it looks nice. Five. What does five dollars even matter? But if you're buying a shirt for nine hundred dollars, you're kind of retarded. I'm just I'm just like a basic white dress shirt for a basic white button-up dress shirt for $900, you're an idiot. I'm sorry, but I don't know what you expect me to, to think. But yeah, I, it's more of an insult to say, to point out that she spent $900 on a shirt. 
then it is five dollars that's just me though cash or pennies if that's all you have you're lying you're clearly not wearing a product shirt sure right, that's enough lucy you can take it from here you chili why uh, spend nine hundred dollars when you're out it looks like sure, trash. see true sure is gonna throw a fit since when do you care about hr here try this What are you doing to me? Oh, you're so fired. Um, Maya, wait. Maya, put the phone down. You will not be reporting Lucy to HR. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he is your boss. I don't know why you thought, like, what were you planning on doing? Reporting both of them or just her? You will not be Maya? reporting her to HR. Maya, wait. And she's wearing yet another skirt where if she bent down, you would see Vag. Yes. But she's wearing a sweater over it now, or, uh, excuse me, or some kind of cover. So, you know, maybe it's fine. Girls make their move on my boss, but this is a whole new level. No, please. I can seriously explain. Hopefully, our next assistant will be on time for her first day. I won't be taking her clothes off like a stripper. Maya, put the phone down. You will not be reporting Lucy to HR. But I saw her. I saw what she was it's doing. It's not Lucy's fault. It's mine. Why would you cut it? Workplace hookups are expressly forbidden. You're right. So fire me. Lucy wanted. Well, she can't to do. fire you because she's a secretary. Me and I push her. If anyone should be reported to HR, it's me. Report us both. It was my idea. And I went along with it. And I forced you. And I gave in. According to the manual you wrote. Mr. Walker, workplace hookups are expressly forbidden. You're right. So fire me. Bone saw is ready for chat. Just watch Mr. Secretary Walker, to wait. You own the this. company. Yeah, naturally. You trust me to run it, right? <laughs> Anything is way better than this. Well, yes. And trust me when I say this. I wouldn't have crossed this line if it wasn't real. This is Am I supposed to feel simp like sympathize with this shit? <laughs> I like I wouldn't have crossed the line if it wasn't real. Like, okay, nigga. So? And just a hookup. I, this is the most real experience I've had in my life. <laughs> Do you believe me? This goes against all of his policies. For now, can you please keep our secret? Keep her secret, Maya. Like, yeah, put her ass on the line because you want to keep fucking her. her. Why not just lie and say, oh. This goes against Another all employee all spilled something on her on the way out. Way to navigate through so it she had to change her shirt. Or I, or Please. she accidentally spilled keep something her on herself Maya. and I gave her a dress shirt to wear. Like, it, that easy. Because that's technically what happened. That's technically exactly what happened. Yeah, they were being flirty and shit, but you did not see that. But she, you know, she did not see that shit, yes, so... Yes, she's my most loyal and trusted employee. That was way too close. What if somebody else had seen us? I don't know. I mean, y'all both CEO. fucking around at work with your you dumb asses. You get caught somebody you're messing around. It's not gonna mess up your career or change how people see you, but it will mine. I know, and I should have thought of that. Jack Diamond, I bet Jason Sorry. doesn't have workplace drama by having sex with coworkers. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Look, it's uh, his music. Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, talk soon, bye. <laughs> she looked, looked directly at the fucking camera and was like, you see, y'all see this shit? You see what I got, I got to fucking deal with? <laughs> I think we're getting big at this. What? Hiding out in plain sight? Exciting, isn't it? Yes, but exhausting. You figure it out, boss man. I got it. Good change. I'll take you on a real date. What? We can't. What if somebody sees us? I know a place where no one would ever be caught dead. I know a place where you can get the shittiest turtle in the city. <laughs> I'm just 
Krishna. Welcome in. Hi. Shit. What? Back to where it all began. Like I said, no one should be able to find us here. Well, just happy we can finally be together. No hiding. Cheers to that. So is this our future? Hiding out in dingy bars? <laughs> well, maybe if you're lucky, you'll upgrade to an out-of-town restaurant. <laughs> Welcome in. Hi. How are you? Oh, I said bitch. Yeah. Shit. What? Don't turn around. Charlotte, shut the front door. Blocking the only entrance. We're screwed. I have an idea. I am so sorry. I should have never risked this. I have an idea. What? Where'd you find a fake mustache? You can buy the chef's outfit, whatever, but where'd you get a mustache? I'm a man and you do this every single day. Every single day, you bring it and you come. You want me to cook for you and your date? I can't believe it. What? That's dumb. <laughs> that was close. So much for our first date. I love how, like, she doesn't get the boss, so she immediately goes out to get a black guy. <laughs> so she can... <laughs> so she can validate her crazy bullshit. I think that was our first date, wasn't it? Like, yeah, I couldn't well, get the boss, but now I got this. a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Where does suit go? What is any of this? For the longest time, I never thought that I'd feel this way about anyone ever again until I met you. It just sucks, you know, that I can't be with you, with you. I know. I want that too. It's been a long time since I felt this way. I mean, you can't anymore. be with her, with her. Just not at fucking work. And just make sure you go to a fucking restaurant that no one else will go to. How long? Seven years. With like an ex girlfriend? My wife, Julia. <laughs> He's still wearing the dress. We did. Yeah, I just noticed that. She Fuck. Did. This is about to get really strange if they start fucking. <laughs> For the longest time, I never thought that I'd feel this way about anyone ever again it's until I met you. So thank you. But never touch my teddy bear again, you insolent bitch. <laughs> This must be Julia. somewhere safe. Wow. She's so beautiful. Oh my god. What? She was pregnant when she died. With twins. Oh my god. How did she die? Local and now you're being nosy. You. Got you something for your birthday. What? <laughs> what? Who told you I had a birthday? I'm gonna get Luke a cake for his birthday today. That's very... Like, it's so easy to find a text, a texting template for your et for whatever editor you use. You know what I mean? But they just, like, put, a, like, a wall of basic text on the screen. Like, it's so lazy. Secret girlfriend you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, look at that. That's so... I have a fucking template. Where you can like, where you can simulate like texting back and forth with another person. And all you got to do, like it's got the blue and white, uh, it's got the blue and white bubbles and everything. All you got to do is put in the fucking text that you want them to say. That's it. And like position it wherever you want. It's easy to find. And these motherfuckers are just like, oh, Maya, no, boss hates birthdays. Do not mention it to him or do anything. <laughs> 
Do not listen to that Grinch. <laughs> Luke will be thrilled to receive anything from you. Bitch, what it... This is why I can't stand about, like, chicks sometimes. Like, who, who doesn't celebrate their birthday? Come on, like, if the motherfucker doesn't want anything for his birthday, doesn't like the mention of his birthday, just fucking respect that wish and just shut the hell up. <laughs> Don't be such a Grinch. You'll love it. Shut up! <laughs> Lucy? Clearly this motherfucker has trauma. Don't don't provoke the trauma. Where are you? I'm on my way to the office. Got you something for your birthday. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> and then it stops right there. Why would you? Wait a minute, please. Please don't tell me that his wife died because she got sideswiped by a car crossing the street. <laughs> crossing the street, trying to cross the street over to him. Oh my God, that is so funny. If that's the oh, come case. Come on, it's your birthday. Wasn't gonna. Oh. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> and I'm so, to compound the error, they have the the new girlfriend get hit, like get she, she got hurt the exact same fucking way. <laughs> and it's almost like, oh no, I've been it's like, what is what's up with this dude? Has he been cursed to have every woman he falls in love with get sideswiped by a car while crossing the street? Is that what this is? Because it's almost like a premon. Oh, he had a premon, like not a premonition, but like. Oh my gosh, she's celebrating my birthday. The curse will be continued. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Oh, this is so dumb. And then, <laughs> Any woman who celebrates my birthday will pay the ultimate price. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bro. she gets scratches on her face what the fuck it's happening again <laughs> he fainted is luke coming in today no he canceled all of his meetings and took a week off why did you get him a cake <laughs> bitch why like he's isolating himself from any everyone he's not coming into work why did you buy him a cake so she's in She's in like the preview for the next episode. So, okay, so she, he hallucinated that? Oh my God, this is getting very interesting. What's going on? Luke. Someone help. Okay, was he dreaming that or what? Okay, I guess he was in a drunken stupor. Fine, I need some time to be alone. Talk later. Is Luke coming in today? No, he can't. Wait, so she did get hit? Okay, wait, 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 all right. So she got hit by a car. I mean, she got hit by a car. And then she just wakes up like nothing happened. Goes back to work in the same outfit. Or is that the, is that the same day? What the fuck? <laughs> His meetings and took a week off. Why did you get him a cake? <laughs> just trying to be nice. I told you, he hates birthdays. Why didn't you just listen? You know, you broke the pro- <laughs> You provoked the prophecy. Now you're gonna die <laughs> in seven days. Please record your message. Luke, please call me. I'm really worried. Do 
too chilly. Why she got a MacBook keyboard with a PC blind. monitor? A hey, some people like to design. mix and match, Goodbye. okay? <laughs> Utterly incomprehensible. It's over. What? I mean, your little, like, half hoodie thing. It's just so dumb. I can't date someone with horrible fashion sense. <laughs> okay. What's going on? Why haven't you been answering any of my calls? Jack Diamond. Anytime this guy, bleh, anytime uh, the guy passes by a Chuck E. Cheese, he gets angry because of all the birthdays going on. You look like you haven't slept in a week. Stop. Week. He's drinking cologne or shit. <laughs> Let's see. Can we have one male romantic protagonist who doesn't have trauma? Like, goddamn. And this is the most pussy ass trauma I've ever seen. Oh, my wife died on my birthday. She got side swiped by a. Well, actually, it's not. It, actually, it's not that bad. It's the way they're going about it. It's just like fucking hilarious. She gets side swiped by a car on his birthday, and then she gets side swiped by a car on his birthday. It's like, what? <laughs> Laura Hart, two dollars super chat. How much money do you think these shorts make? I don't know. I I, I do not know. It's over. What? You were right. We worked together, and nothing should have ever happened between us. But you're the one who wanted this. You kept pushing this. Like this, uh, see, as soon as you, as soon as he tries to break it off, then you're like, well, you push this, um, as if you have no fucking responsibility in any of this. I was wrong. Mars. Jay, trauma is hot. So that's I mean, it? I guess, yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> but it can't be this whole Luke Walker. I love how she comes to his house. He's clearly distraught over something. After you got hit by a car, by the way, and you see all these liquor bottles and all these cologne bottles <laughs> all strewn out everywhere, and like, you mean you're an asshole? You're breaking up with me? You're an asshole? Like, what the fuck? You're the one who wanted this. You kept pushing this. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Like, clearly he is fucked in the head right now. Something else is going on beside you. And she's like, oh, you're an asshole because you're breaking up with me. I'm like, oh God, ugh, you suck. So that's it? That's it. You're an asshole, Luke Walker. God, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Was I ever think? I mean, yeah, you are stupid. Another Zelda fan. Jay, just imagine him back in his turtleneck. <laughs> no, I don't want to imagine that because his turtleneck was trash. It was wrinkly and dingy. I don't want to imagine that. Uh, Bonesaw is ready. I mean, he could at least ask her if she's okay with getting hit by a car. I keep getting involved with my boss. <laughs> you shouldn't have been the one to quit. NRES, uh -huh. cheers to Jay Long going for her willing God, sacrifice. God, I'm so stupid. <laughs> what was I ever thinking getting involved with my boss? I'm so, so sorry, girl. Is this the part where you say I told you so? Not now, but maybe when you stop crying. Thanks for your generosity. I never thought Luke would be such a jerk. I know. He's not a jerk. He's cl he clearly has issues. What an asshole you are. Want me to go beat him up? You know I can, because I'm huge. <laughs> yeah, I do. Go away. 
<laughs> what do you say to her? You remember the deal, right? Yes. Mr. Walker, we have to talk. What do you say to her? I came to my senses. She never got involved with the employee. I thought you said it was real. It is. Then why are you running away? Don't you get it? Being with me is dangerous. <laughs> if you celebrate my birthday, you will die. <laughs> oh my God. She could have been killed. All because of me. You can't live your life like this forever. She looks like someone has made art of her like 300 years ago. <laughs> it's not an insult, but like she's got one of those faces that's just, yeah, you are from another century. Lucy isn't Julie. And she won't be as long as I stay away from her. Get the fuck out. <laughs> she deserves better than this. And so do you. If I was you, I would do something before it's too Bonesaw late. is ready. I'm cursed. Too late. Yes. Lucy quit today. She a dumbass. Like, you need that check, girl. <laughs> Are you sure you have to leave LA? I just... Just gotta get away from it all for a little while. You remember the deal, right? Yes. If Luke ever comes looking, don't tell him where to find you. <laughs> Red Rose Sparks, are you saying she looks inbred, Jay? No, I'm <laughs> saying she looks like someone has Please. painted artwork of her. Is that monkey lamps? <laughs> Y'all see that shit? <laughs> like, I, I don't mind monkey related things in your house, but that it's not painted and has no eyes. And it's just like a monkey holding a, a light. Eh, that's weird. My car's here. Bone saw is ready. God forbid. Oh, wait, no, that's not bone saw is ready. Mariana, God forbid this men are depressed. So what a shit show this is. I'll call you. You better. <laughs> oh. Athala, Jay, look up John William Waterhouse paintings. I see what you mean. Two weeks? I'm sure you understand. Lucy, please. Those are the rules, right? If I lost the game, I would leave the office. And I certainly lost, so. Can we please just talk about what this? What did you possibly have to say to me? That I was a jerk. And... And I love you. Don't get in that cab. And why should I trust you? I thought you said we were done playing games. We are. I'm serious. You don't treat people you love like that. I know. I'm sorry. Don't get in that cab. And why should I trust you? I thought that being with me would ruin you. But I can't live in fear like that anymore. Not if that means losing you. Please. Please can we just start over. Just you and me. Don't get in that car. Yeah, she does look like she's from a John William Waterhouse painting. You said no games. No games. Especially that Cleopatra painting he did. Said no games. No games. No carnival, no games. Sounds boring. Sounds boring. You do that for me. I'll do anything for you. So, no games, how will we ever pass the time? Bitch, does this bitch really rhyme hallelujah with to ya? Oh my god. to go around. I got over my alcoholism and depression just because you were about to leave town. Get the fuck out. And, and from a, a pep talk from some chick. 
And that'll sustain me for now Uncivilized manners. While she chose to get with him, so uh, she didn't state? fully understand what she was doing. He, on the other hand, Somehow. knew exactly what he was doing. The difference: one knowingly deceived the other. Eh, I don't necessarily believe that. They both knew what they were doing. I mean, she doesn't know like the repercussions of fucking their your boss. Get the hell out of here. She's grown. She's just as culpable as him. But yeah, he does. He is like the authority figure. But he is the authority figure, but that doesn't mean she does not understand the situation. She understands. <laughs> I am stepping down as CEO of Walker Enterprises, effective immediately. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Abigail, no drama sounds boring, red flag. We'll oh, see. yeah. See, I didn't hear that part because I was talking and looking up John William Watterson Thank paintings. Thank you. No sweat. Not that I condone it, but I'm glad you're happy. And he looks happy, too. Uh, everyone, if I could just have your attention for a moment, please. Uh, an important announcement to make. Well, two, actually. I am stepping down as CEO of Walker Enterprises. Bone saw is ready. If she takes over as CEO, I swear to God. <laughs> I've come to realize that there are more important things in life. Wait, 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 but who are we talking about here? Who's going to take over as CEO? The girlfriend or the secretary who almost outed him? Because I think it might be the secretary who, who takes over, if anyone takes over. Things I have been putting off for some time. Like her? Yeah, exactly. Why aren't you dating a black dude now? Like, get the fuck out of their business. Tell me what she has that I don't have. <laughs> Even this bitch is like, would you shut the fuck up? <laughs> Do you need a list, Charlotte? Because it will be quite a long one. And now, if you'll humor me for a moment, I have one more thing to ask. Oh no. <laughs> this motherfucker. All right, you know what? That's a running joke that's actually funny. <laughs> He tries to snuggle up to her and he's like, what the, <laughs> this nigga again. <laughs> this kind of, I, this is funny. I, I like that. Lucy, I never thought I'd fall in love again. But when I first saw you, I saw possibility. And even though our love story is unconventional, I wouldn't have it any other way. I love you. And I want to spend the rest our of Our love life. story is unconventional. No, it isn't. <laughs> Hey, for God's sakes, if you don't say yes, I will. <laughs> will you marry me? I hate. Like, you proposed to her at you work? Yes, I will. <laughs> See, now they know that you've been in a relationship this whole time. I mean, he stepped down, which means he will avoid any repercussions, but still? Isn't she still gonna work there? That's gonna make her work life hell. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so you're dating a black dude. Walker. Walker Marketing. This is Lucy Walker speaking. Walker Marketing. Luke Walker speaking. CEO. CEO. You're speaking, speaking with him. Okay. Publisher Joey Ja or whatever the fuck. Joey Gia. So they're both CEO. Okay. So the girlfriend did become CEO, but the guy is still the CEO too. Okay. Frosted glass, two dollar super chat. Our love story is unconventional and portrait mode. <laughs> Bonesaw is ready. Our love story has random cuts to 15 seconds in the future. Very unconventional. Jack Time was like, gay!
Abigail, is this a different business? I think I uh, Binbar Huli, so they're joint owners of the company. I don't know. This was tr oh god, this was trash. This was this was like torture. <laughs> I'm so fucking tired and I can't believe this guy we got done with this like 15 minutes early than I than what I thought uh Ryan Bannon five dollar super chat get to the episode where she asked Luke to poop on his face during sex <laughs> oh god if only bone saw is ready to sum up the stream Natalie Quinn was actually nice and sweet vampire movie was stupid funny this was kind of straight trash true um Blue River 199 super chat this film was thrilling is watching paint dry yeah but yeah, that, oh, yeah, that's. Wait, hang on a sec. Um, yeah, that was a thing. Jesus Christ. I think we might do this again with real short, because there's a bunch of real short. You have no fucking idea how many re real short movies there are. There's quite a bit. There's a big ass fucking catalog to this is a lot. <laughs> and there's a channel full of them. So I think we're gonna do this again one of these days. We're just gonna go through uh go through the shit. Who knows? I might might invite some people to check them out. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I, that's gonna be it for me. Damn, it's 15 to midnight. I'm going to bed. I'm going to relax. Oh, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for all the super chats and and the comments and everything. Really appreciate it and like thanks for suffering through the cringe with me. I, you know. I love you guys, but I got to go. This oof, this was mind numbing. The vampire one was kind of funny. But this is where it got like really slow. Like I liked the cringe romance shit. It was so embarrassing. But yeah, uh, yeah. Overall, it's like, oof, I gotta go. Oh, and thank you, like Jack Diamond and Bonesaw is ready. You guys are funny. You guys really made this more bearable. I mean, all of you guys did, but especially.